So which of these would you like to consume? that humans should not be eating or drinking. Imagine if I'm giving my kid antifreeze. So these are just frauds. Pretty dirty trick to play on somebody. You're taking their money and giving them this. I want to take medication to stay healthy, not make me a lot sicker. And you have no way of knowing. I mean, you don't get much more criminal than that. Take a look underneath this one. Okay. I'm a little, I'm right. a little scared, too. That is a big bowl of nothing. So they're not even putting an active ingredient into the medication. The good news is you can take steps to make sure your online pharmacy is legitimate with the dot .pharmacy domain. So if I see dot .pharmacy... It's legit. It's certainly easy to remember. It's great to know that dot .pharmacy exists. So you and your loved ones can be sure the medications you buy online are safe. Dot .pharmacy. It's a no-brainer. At the first sign of a threatening storm, Chief Meteorologist Tom Tesselmeyer and the WBAL TV 11 weather team are your first line of defense. Experienced meteorologists who know Maryland weather, delivering accurate, dependable forecasts. A few strong thunderstorms. Plus, download the 11 News app for constant updates on your mobile device. When it comes to severe weather, trust the team with the tools to warn you first. WBAL TV 11 weather. Live, local, late breaking. Life moves quickly. Things are happening all around us that affect our lives. That's where we come in. The WBAL-TV 11 News I-Team. When someone needs to keep a watchful eye. We take a close look at what's really going on. We get to the bottom of the story so we can tell your story. When you want answers, we uncover the facts and give you a voice. We're Maryland's live, local, late-breaking investigative source. The WBAL-TV 11 News I-Team. Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer, weeknights on 11 News. Live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News Sunday morning. Hello and welcome to 11 News Sunday morning right now at 5. Yeah, good morning everyone. From St. Louis to Washington, D.C., thousands taking to the streets in protest. We're going to tell you why. Here in Baltimore, police arrest a man in the stabbing of a 76-year-old man. Details on what the suspect confessed to investigators. And London remains on critical alert even as British police make a second arrest in that subway bombing. We'll get to all those stories and more in just a moment. But first, we're keeping an eye on Hurricane Jose. Meteorologist Taylor Grenda is tracking the storm for us. Taylor? All right, thank you. And yes, we are tracking Jose still maintaining its strength overnight. As a Category 1 hurricane, sustained winds, not much has changed over the past 24 hours of 80 miles per hour. So we do anticipate this system to hold its strength as it nears our coastline going into Monday and Tuesday, but I think the only impacts, if we see any, will mainly be across parts of Ocean City and the Delaware beaches. So something we're watching closely there. Meanwhile, we do have some dense patchy fog developing across Baltimore and the eastern shore, so please take it easy if you are heading out on the roadways early on this morning. We have a Another gorgeous day on tab. Dry conditions, slight chance for a passing shower into later on this afternoon, but otherwise a great day to head on outdoors. I'll break down the latest details on Jose and the rest of your seven day forecast here in a few minutes. All right, Taylor, thank you. In cities across the country this weekend, Americans are taking to the streets in protest. In St. Louis, it is over a police shooting. Right, and in Richmond, Virginia, a Robert E. Lee statue, and in Washington, support for President Trump and a famous rap duo. Here's 11 News reporter Chris Pallone with more. In St. Louis, protesters took to the streets for a second straight day. Outraged over a judge's ruling finding a white former police officer not guilty of killing a black man in 2011. Protesters Saturday took their message to a couple shopping malls, a food festival, and a popular entertainment district. The rock band U2 and the St. Louis Symphony canceled concerts over fears of keeping fans safe. Disappointing for all the folks who earn their living, working, at these concerts and at these events because they'll miss a paycheck because of this. That's because Friday night things turned violent with 11 police officers hurt, several buildings vandalized and 33 people arrested. We will continue to ensure our citizens First Amendment rights are protected. However, we will not tolerate violence. In Richmond, Virginia, things remained peaceful as a group calling itself the New Confederate States of America marched in support of the city's Robert E. Lee statue. But instead of heated clashes, people on both sides engaged in mostly calm conversations about their differences. I've never met this man. We'd have to go all the way out. We just had, what, a 10-minute conversation. So I can understand where he was coming from. He can understand where I was coming from. 
In Washington, competing rallies on the National Mall. Supporters of President Trump held what they called the mother of all rallies. Organizers banned any ties to white supremacy or the alt-right. Speakers offered support for the president and his agenda as anti-Trump protesters looked on. President Trump is trying to make things work for everybody. You know? Just a few yards away, fans of the hip-hop duo Insane Clown Posse, who call themselves Juggalos, protested the Justice Department labeling them a loosely organized hybrid gang. Chris Pallone, WBAL-TV 11 News. Here in Baltimore City, police are investigating several shootings, one of them a homicide. Just after 5.30 yesterday evening, police learned that two men had checked themselves into a hospital with gunshot wounds. One of them died shortly after arriving. Investigators say that victim was shot along the 2700 block of Borman Avenue in northwest Baltimore. In northeast Baltimore, an 18-year-old man was shot along the 4700 block of Shamrock Avenue. He's being treated at a hospital. Police are searching for suspects in both of the shootings. Well, Baltimore police have arrested the suspect they believe is responsible for a string of carjackings. They say in one case he stabbed a man. 29-year-old Robert Crenshaw is charged with attempted murder, carjackings, and robbery. According to investigators, Crenshaw stabbed a 76-year-old man and stole his car Friday morning in the 1000 block of East Lombard Street. They say Crenshaw also confessed to carjacking other victims on Ann Street and South Chapel Street. A 69-year-old man recovering this morning after he was attacked in Canton. Police say the victim was waiting at a bus stop in the 3200 block of Eastern Avenue just before 4.30 yesterday morning when three juveniles walked up, attacked him, and then searched his pockets. A family member says that man lives in the neighborhood and often catches the bus to work. Police are asking anyone who could help with the investigation to give them a call. Overseas now, new developments this morning in the London subway attack. British police say a second man has now been arrested in connection with the attack that injured 29 people. Still this morning, the country remains on a critical alert, meaning another attack is judged imminent. We get the latest news from NBC's Keir Simmons. Today, police raided a suburban house hours earlier, making what Scotland Yard called a significant arrest. After a massive manhunt to find those behind a homemade bomb that sent a fireball through a packed London subway car on Friday. The suspect, an 18-year-old man, detained in the departure area of the port of Dover, a key ferry terminal between Britain and France. He has not yet been charged. At this stage, we're keeping an open mind around whether more than one person is responsible for the attack. Detectives warning Londoners to expect more police activity in the days ahead. 30 people were injured on Friday, some with burns, others in the stampede to escape. There was a poor little boy who smacked his head into the concrete and I won't forget seeing that because he was in his school uniform, terrified. The explosive device included a bucket and a string of lights hidden in a supermarket bag. British security sources tell NBC News that while the detonator on the device fired, the main charge did not. If it had have exploded, many more people might have been maimed or even killed. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, but there's no evidence of their involvement. Britain facing a wave of terror attacks. This was the fifth since March. But the station where dozens were injured Friday reopened today with tightened security and defiant passengers. I think it's very important not to be put off, uh, upset or uh, phased by this type of activity. They can't kill all of us. They only kill a few and try to frighten everyone, and I refuse to be frightened. Tonight, Britain's terror threat remains at critical, the highest level, and police releasing few details about the man they have arrested. Their priority, to prevent another attack. Keir Simmons, NBC News, London. Back here in the States, U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen spoke with Marylanders yesterday about the importance of providing health care to everyone. He hosted a health care forum at Perkins Square Baptist Church in Baltimore, talked about what he says are the challenges with the Affordable Care Act and how lawmakers should work to provide universal health care. Senator Van Hollen says the current health care system is not perfect, but repealing and replacing it would cause more harm than good thank people here for organizing to push back against the effort uh, to undo the Affordable Care Act, which uh, if they'd succeeded in blowing up the Affordable Care Act, uh, 23 million Americans would have lost access to affordable health care uh, and hundreds of thousands of uh, Marylanders. So uh, we wanted to say that fight is still not over. The University of Maryland Medical Center was also at the event doing free health screenings. 
local foundation is celebrating the success of people who have overcome addiction. Yeah, they certainly are. Hundreds of people gathered to create a forest of hope, they're calling it, at Oregon Ridge Park yesterday. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring was there. A park turned into an art studio, trees being used instead of canvas. It's the forest of hope. Hundreds of people painted 50 trees in Oregon Ridge Park. The art celebrates life after overcoming the disease of addiction. Their stories are being painted on their trees to share with the public that, hey, addiction is a disease, but it's not what you read about in the paper every day. People do recover if they access the right type of treatment and the right type of support. Artist Jay Wolf Schlossberg Cohen helped bring the stories to life. Small groups work together to paint the designs. Plaques at each tree tell the stories of recovery. The tree is a symbol of life. It is actually living. And in literature, it's a junction between heaven and earth. It is a symbol of resurrection, of rebirth, of hope. Nikki Perlow was 21 when she lost her battle with addiction. Her family honors her memory by helping young adults struggling with the disease. The Forest of Hope Project raised more than $75,000 to provide financial, emotional, and logistical support to young adults like Perlow. We wanted to do something different than a gala. We wanted to do something that, A, that the recovery community would own, meaning this is their project as much as it's the Nikki Perla Foundation project. And B, we wanted something that after the day of the event, it's something that's going to live on so we can share these stories for years to come. There will always be people that suffer from this disease, but just like this tree, this tree will be here, and those that are recovering from the disease of addiction will be here as well. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. The time now is 5 and 9. Puppies, of course, are very cute, but in some cases, they can actually make you sick. This one really surprised me. I had a medical alert. The warning from health officials about puppies from one national pet store. For the second year in a row, the Baltimore Ravens kick off their Passing It Forward campaign, showing random acts of kindness. And today, it was all about men and women in uniform. I'm Megan Pringle. We'll have the details coming up. And we have a great day to head on outdoors. Any kind of plans you do, but if you are heading to Ocean City, I do have something you need to know, especially that may impact your beach plans the next several days. I'll break down the latest forecast as we take a live look outside from Ocean City, the boardwalk. Some fog moving throughout the area. Take it easy on the roadways if you are heading out early on this morning. We'll be back in a few minutes. Stay with us. 11 News Saturday, Sunday morning is just getting started. This portion of 11 News is brought to you by the RV Super Sale at the Timonium Fairgrounds this weekend, September 14th through 17th. Visit TimoniumRV.com for details. At IKEA, we believe that your dream bedroom, from a bed frame with storage, to the softest linens, to a cozy mattress, can be yours for less. And we believe that cozy should never be costly. I love the countertops. And I like the price. Yeah, we'll take it. That feeling, only better. The thrill of getting a better deal than you expected. At the Volkswagen Selldown event, you can get $1,000 cash back on a new 2017 Passat. Get $1,000 cash back or lease this 2017 Passat S for just $189 a month after a $1,000 bonus. Offers end October 2nd. It's the flooring sale you've been waiting for. Empire Today's Half Price Sale. Get $2,400 of flooring for $1,200, $5,200 for an amazing $2,600. That's half the price of your entire purchase. Shop for carpet, hardwood, tile, vinyl, and laminate right from home and have it professionally installed. Don't miss Empire's Half Price Sale. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. This is the J.D. Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! <laughs> is this required? Does she have to? She doesn't have to. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier, because it's the only brand to earn J.D. Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow. It's really nice in here. Get 20% below MSRP on most 2017 Chevy Malibu models. That's over $5,300 on this Chevy Malibu. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Track Jose. Download the WBAL TV mobile app now. At IKEA, we believe that your dream bedroom, from a bed frame with storage to the softest linens, 
to a cozy mattress can be yours for less. And we believe that cozy should never be costly. Now, your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grenda. Good morning and happy Sunday. Hope your day is off to a great start. Do you want to bring you the latest update on Hurricane Jose? Really no significant change overnight with the system. A still category one hurricane maintaining its strength. Sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. Pressure kind of similar and it's on though has made that northerly turn at around, moving at around eight miles per hour. So the northerly turn is what we were really waiting for. We did anticipate it to happen at some point overnight into this morning. So having that said, I do think we're on track with the current forecast cone to really shape up to be what it is. So we are anticipating the system to be closer towards the mid Atlantic coast. We're talking though 200 miles off our shoreline as early as late Monday night tracking across uh, the Atlantic as we go into parts of Tuesday. So again, I think most of us won't see too, too uh, big of an impact. However, just keep in mind across Ocean City, that's where we'll see some impacts going into Monday and Tuesday. So once again, breaking that down for you, we'll see the wind really start to increase late tonight through Monday and Tuesday. Periods of rain here and there, but I think the main threat will really be the winds and also the rough surf picking up as early as today. Dangerous rip currents continuing through Monday and Tuesday. Really won't see that let up until probably late week, Thursday into Friday. So swim safe out there. Meanwhile, for today, everything is extremely quiet. We still have high pressure dominating our weather pattern. So Everyone is going to stay relatively quiet here throughout your Sunday. So a great one to head on outdoors with future radar. We do have the chance for a few spot showers once again as we go anytime after one and two o'clock. Here we go through this morning. Things are quiet, sunshine in place. Then as we go closer to the afternoon, we're talking one on one thirty. We'll start to see some cumulus clouds build. In addition to that, some spotty showers. Now, not everyone's going to see that much. Uh, mostly it's just going to be an extremely isolated shower. That threat really diminishes once we hit anytime after six and seven o'clock this evening. So it's going to be actually a nice evening to head on outdoors too. under partly cloudy skies. Clouds start to build going into Monday temperatures right now. We're sitting in the 60s and the 70s. It sure is a warm and kind of humid start to your Sunday. 72 degrees right now in Baltimore 65 Pikesville 65 checking in and rising sun 66 Pasadena Airport sitting at 65 degrees Ravens game. If you have plans outdoors tailgating uh, options out there, things look quiet. Partly cloudy skies. Again, keep your eye on the sky for a quick moving shower. It's in. It's out of here within 10 to 15 minutes. It's going to be a warm one, too, so try your best to stay hydrated out there. Here's a quick check on that seven-day forecast. Showers possible Monday and Tuesday as Jose tracks near our coastline. Wednesday through next weekend, things really quiet down. Sunshine in place. Highs in the mid-80s. It's a beautiful forecast, Taylor. Yeah. Thanks so much. One last punch of summer for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. The television industry honors its best of the year tonight. The Emmy Awards will be handed out in Los Angeles. It it could be a big night for NBC's Saturday Night Live. It earned the most overall nominations with 22. And Deb's excited to watch the show I tonight. I love award shows. <laughs> 11 News, Mark Barger reports the network's hit drama, This Is Us, could also have a reason to celebrate. <laughs> From the get-go, viewers embraced NBC's This Is Us. The Television Academy has two, 10 Emmy this nominations, including Best Drama. And that means that people are, are noticing you and sort of liking what you're doing. Best drama has been dominated by cable series over the past decade, but with two-time winner Game of Thrones ineligible this year, the doors opened up a bit. Hopefully we, we bring a few of them home. That would be nice. I mean, right, the, you want to win, right? Hartley's TV sister, Chrissy Metz, is nominated for Best Supporting Actress, while his TV brother, Sterling K. Brown, and his TV dad, Milo Ventimiglia, are both vying for Best Actor. In my nomination, I get to celebrate the people that make my performance what it is, and because I feel like I'm also giving to them, so it's, it isn't... It's not mine, it's it's everyone's. This Is Us already has one Emmy in hand. Last weekend, Gerald McCraney won Best Guest Actor. I am the best of the best. For his role as kindly Dr. Katowski. It's the first time McCraney had been nominated during his five decades in Hollywood. This is like the pinnacle and coming this late in my career. It's awfully pleasant to have something like this happen. And regardless of whether This Is Us earns additional Emmys tonight, McCraney says the show's already proven plenty. The audience hasn't given up on itself, hasn't given up on the human race, and that there is still room for honest emotion and good people. And just maybe a few more Emmys. Mark Barger, WBAL-TV 11 News.
Well, coming up at about face when it comes to hormone replacement therapy. Yeah, more on the new study that finds the menopause treatment may actually be a safe option for women despite previous warnings. But first, here's a look at some of the events that are happening around the Baltimore area this weekend. We'll be right back. quarterback is unbelievable. There's not much that compares to it, but being a dad takes the cake. They're balls of energy. I don't think it's going to get any more calm around here. It's going to be busy, busy, busy. Being with M&T really helps because the less time you spend banking, the more time I can spend with my kids. That's really what's important. The fact that M&T is, is willing to cater to young families who are on the move a lot uh, just makes it so much easier for everybody. I'm all about being a dad. It's the coolest job in the world. When the Falcons open their new stadium, their first guest is Aaron Rodgers. So we'll see if the scoreboard works. It's an NFC Championship rematch. Packers, Falcons, only on NBC. Brought to you locally on WBAL-TV by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, legendary safety and reliability. What drives you? Toyota, let's go places. Toyota Camry, the official car of the Baltimore Ravens. Toyota, let's go places. How is affordable dentures and implants so much less expensive? It's all they do, so they're amazing. But who has time for all that? Everybody. They made these while we waited. <laughs> Took one day. They'll treat me okay? Like family. I can't believe I'm doing this. We should have done it years ago. For affordable dentures, implants, and extractions, call 1-800-DENTURE today. One call and one day can change your tomorrow. As Jose threatens the East Coast, turn to 11 News, the latest track of the storm, and pinpointing its exact location. Plus, get constant updates at WBALTV.com and on the WBALTV mobile app. Only from 11 News. In this morning's medical alert, multiple studies have found the flu vaccine is safe for pregnant women, which is why many experts are puzzled by a small new study that suggests a possible link between flu shots and miscarriage. Researchers found an uptick in miscarriages when women had back-to-back -back annual flu vaccines, that is, they got the shot early on in pregnancy and also had the vaccine a year before getting pregnant. Those vaccines protected against swine flu. What is important to note is that this study does not even begin to prove the shots lead to miscarriages and doctors still recommend women get the vaccine. A potentially serious bacterial infection has been linked to puppies of all things. Everybody loves to cuddle a puppy, but the CDC says puppies from <laughs> Petland, a national pet store chain, appear to be the cause of a bacterial infection. Humans can be infected with the Campylobacteria through contact with the animal feces. 39 people in seven states have fallen ill. The seven states involved are Florida, Kansas, Missouri, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Wisconsin, not Maryland. A simple smell test could help identify people at high risk for Parkinson's disease. Researchers from Michigan State University asked a group of older adults to identify 12 common scents like cinnamon, soap, gasoline. People with a poor sense of smell were nearly five times more likely to develop Parkinson's disease within 10 years. Fascinating than those with the highest scores on the test. The link was especially strong in men. Important health news for women dealing with extreme fatigue, night sweats, hot flashes brought on by menopause. A long-term look at the effects of hormone therapy offers reassurance the treatment can be safe. Here's 11 News reporter Erica Edwards with more. Here is the latest guidance on hormone therapy for most healthy women who struggle through menopause. Hormone therapy is very reasonable for treatment of hot flashes, menopausal symptoms among women who have uh, impaired quality of life due to these symptoms, and especially if they're in early menopause. Dr. Joanne Manson and colleagues at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston followed up with more than 27,000 women nearly two decades after taking hormone replacement. They found the treatment did not lead to early death from any cause. 
there was no increase in total mortality or in death rates from cardiovascular disease or cancer. A previous look at the same set of women on hormone therapy uncovered worrisome risks, blood clots, stroke, breast cancer. Experts say the science has evolved since then, so doctors now have a better understanding of the potential problems as well as benefits. There might be nuances in risk in any individual item, but globally, the risk of death is no different whether you are on the hormones or not. Every woman is different and should speak with their doctors about personal risks. Erica Edwards, WBAL-TV 11 News. And stay with us. More news is coming up next. First, here is Jason Newton with a look at what's coming up later this morning on 11 TV Hill. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Deb. On this morning's edition of 11 TV Hill, Harvey and Irma, the devastating blows of the monster storms and their impact in millions of Americans. Plus, the ongoing recovery and relief efforts by the American Red Cross and BGE and the warning from the Better Business Bureau about storm-related scams. We'll see you this morning at 1130. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a tax doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. We've never had more. Gadgets, gizmos, more stuff than we know what to do with. But happiness doesn't come from earning more or owning more. It comes from spending time with people you love, connecting with community, moving your body and staying healthy. Do you have time for that? You do if you do them all in one place. The Y, a million different ways to make everyone happy for one low price. Pay no joining fee through the 20th. Sign up online at joinymaryland.org. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Get 20% below MSRP on most Chevy Cruze models. That's over $4,800 on this Chevy Cruze. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. When news breaks, when storms are about to strike, hear about it first with push alerts sent straight to your smartphone or tablet. Download the WBAL TV 11 News app. Sweet 4K TV, Mr. Peterson. Thanks. I'm pretty psyched. Did you get Fios too? No. Mr. Peterson, Fios is 100% fiber optic network. What does that mean? Think about it. If you got an awesome new car, you'd put the best gas in it, right? So I hook up your awesome technology to anything other than a fiber optic network. I gotta go. Peterson? Peterson's wife? Count on you guys. Your internet deserves the 100% fiber optic network. And now get 150 meg internet with TV and phone for just $79.99 per month. At Len the Plumber, we know how dedicated you are to what's important. It's that same dedication that drives us to keep your home running without skipping a beat. Dedicated to being there when you need us most. We're here for you seven days a week. It is game day. The Baltimore Ravens kicked off their Pass It Forward campaign. It's a chance for players and cheerleaders to get out and do some good in the community. 11 News reporter Megan Pringle shows us they wanted to start things off in a special way. Baltimore County officers didn't expect donuts first thing in the morning, especially when they came with sizzle. What's up? How you doing? Nice seeing you. Hey, nice you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Ravens linebacker Terrell Suggs is at Precinct 3 in Randallstown. This is the kickoff of the Ravens' Pay It Forward campaign, showing random acts of kindness throughout the season. It's good to see, you know, uh, these, these guys, you know, protect our community. So, um, you know, it's good to come out and just kind of hang out with them for a little bit. Well, the fact that the Ravens are taking their time out um, to come and honor us, be with us, and it just shows their class as an organization to remember us on this day. It's the second year the Ravens partnered with Verizon Wireless for the campaign. And since the first day is on September 11th, they wanted to make it all about first responders. Our commitment to first responders is deep. We're actually developing a core network for first responders. Um, so there's a good opportunity to show thanks to them um, and, and give them a great experience. The next stop, Fort Meade. That's where servicemen and women get lunch delivered by Max Williams and Chris Moore. And then from there, Baltimore City firefighters get treated to ice cream. We're really making it a priority to 
make intentional acts of kindness um, and giving back to the first responders um, and the men and women that help us out each and every day. It went a long way with officers and Terrell Suggs seemed to like it too. He got a tour of the building and had the chance to make some noise. The campaign will continue throughout the season all over the community. In Randallstown, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News. Good stuff there. Yeah. All right, time now is 528, and coming up, we'll take a look at our top stories. Yeah, some residents of the Florida Keys are finally heading home after Hurricane Irma. A look at the damage they found up next. An exclusive one-on-one -on -one with House Speaker Michael Bush recovering from a liver transplant. Details just ahead. And it's the last weekend of summer. If you can't believe it, it's certainly going to feel like summer today. A hot and humid one ahead. Highs in the lower 80s. As we take a live look outside, we do have some fog continuing to build throughout the areas. So take it easy out there if you are heading out on the roadways early on this morning. We'll be back with the full forecast coming up here in a few minutes. At IKEA, we believe that your dream bedroom, from a bed frame with storage, to the softest linens, to a cozy mattress, can be yours for less. And we believe that cozy should never be costly. At Bill Kids Toyota, our lot is bursting at the seams with over 250 2017 best-selling models and new 2018 Toyotas arriving daily. Find your new Toyota and one of the best prices available at Bill Kids Toyota, York Road at Warren. With Next Day Floors, getting new hardwood floors for your home is as easy as one, two, three. First, visit one of our six Baltimore area stores or call us and we'll come to you. Next, choose from hundreds of flooring options, including hardwood, laminate, or luxury vinyl tile. And finally, with 24 month, 0% financing and everyday low prices, you'll have your new floors in no time. Here comes the jingle. Next Day Floors, we come to you. Call 800-916-6112. The school, the neighborhood, the neighbors, the house next door to the neighbors, the REMAX agent who checked off every detail she knew the family would love at 107 Meadow. The knowledge to find what's right for you. That's the sign of a REMAX agent. Car's ready. Wrong car. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. You guys want to check it out? It's someone else's car. What is this? It's the all-new Chevy Equinox. This feels like a luxury SUV. Your car's here. Bummer. <laughs> Do we have to take that one back? <laughs> wah, wah. Can I take this one home? <laughs> Current qualified competitive lessees can get this all-new Chevy Equinox LT for around $199 a month. Or current owners and lessees of a non-GM vehicle get $4,250 total cash allowance on this Equinox. At IKEA, we believe that your dream bedroom, from a bed frame with storage, to the softest linens, to a cozy mattress, can be yours for less. And we believe that cozy should never be costly. Live, local, late breaking, this is WBAL TV 11 News Sunday morning. Welcome back to 11 News Sunday Morning. I'm Deborah Wiener. Thanks for joining us. Look at us. This is crazy. Jennifer is off today. I'm Adam May. And this is like, we were talking about this is like the love boat earlier. And everybody is a guest star on this show this morning. I'm Julie. <laughs> Julie McCoy. Who, Who would I then? Maybe you're Isaac. Gavin yeah. McLeod. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is just so fun, Deb and I doing a show together. And fun. Taylor is with us, too. It's been very fun to watch, honestly. Oh, I'm come on. To take it all in. <laughs> uh, it, we're a little bit much this morning, we Taylor. Are. We apologize. Much, we are hey. caffeinated and ready to go. It's better than being boring. I know. And it's going to be hot today. It is. Like, I mean, it, did you notice yesterday? the time of year. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yesterday, it was extremely warm and humid. And today, it's going to be, nonetheless, the same exact conditions. Highs in the lower 80s. The humidity kind of in full force. However, we are also tracking our other story, Hurricane Jose maintaining strength overnight and has made that northerly turn, which we were uh, at least waiting for for the past 24 hours. We do anticipate the system to be near our coastline, hundreds of miles off though, by as early as Monday and Tuesday. So we could see some impacts across Ocean City. Meanwhile, we're dealing with some dense fog developing across parts of our area. So if you live in the suburbs, take it easy out there, especially on the roadways. Meanwhile, a nice day ahead, highs, nice, warm and humid into the lower 80s. I'll break down exactly when we'll uh, cool down a little bit and we'll see the rain return coming up here in a few minutes. All right, Taylor. Well, as you know, Hurricane Jose is coming and people along the northeast are getting ready. Residents of Connecticut's shoreline are keeping a close eye on the path of Jose. Marinas are already warning people to take precautions before it's too late. Now to the Florida Keys. Residents beginning to return this weekend for the first time since Hurricane Irma swept through and caused widespread damage. NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh spoke with some of them. 
Nearly a week after the storm, this is what Irma left behind in the Florida Keys. Devastation, trees toppled, boats overturned, and hundreds of homes gone. In Marathon, residents returned home for the first time. What do you guys need to do to recover from this? We don't know yet. Ivan Dibbles lost his mother in the storm. He spoke to her on Sunday, hours before the hurricane hit. I regret it that I didn't drive her, but I hair out of here. <sighs> Please know I don't have a mother. Ivan and his mother, 61-year-old Marcy Rodriguez, lived together in their mobile home, where Marcy chose to ride out the storm with their pets. There was no convincing her to leave? No. No. Ivan still searching for his pets. I lost my mom. I don't want to lose any more animals. But in this close-knit community, no shortage of love. Thank you. Thank you. Families across the Keys are returning to rebuild their lives, including Rosie Herrera and her loved ones. People are already picking up. They want to get everything back to normalcy, you know? So we're all pitching in and working hard. That was Lucy Kapanoff reporting. People displaced by Hurricane Harvey in Port Arthur, Texas, are being moved into tents now. Emergency officials have put up some 250 tents in a parking lot. Each one can hold up to 14 people. Officials say men and women are being put in different tents and families are staying together in other tents. City officials say they also plan to set up one large tent that can hold 250 people and put barriers inside to separate the men and the women. Finally finding a balance after a couple of weeks, and we're happy that uh, com people will be safe and feel comfortable here. The mayor says the tents are temporary shelters where people can stay for about 30 days, but he says that could be extended. FEMA and county officials are working on a long-term housing solution. Protests turned violent for a second night in St. Louis last night in the wake of a former St. Louis police officer's acquittal in the 2011 death of a black man. More people were arrested. Several law enforcement officers were hurt. Reporter Melissa Rainey has the latest. Protests entered a second day in the St. Louis area on Saturday as people gathered at West County Mall to make their voices heard. The group moved through the mall shouting no justice, no profits, and Black Lives Matter. Mall security estimates there were between 200 and 300 protesters marching loudly but peacefully. Even so, the tension prompted store employees to quickly shut their doors. They're not being violent. We're just shutting places down because they don't care. You know what I'm saying? We have to open our eyes, you know, some way. Saturday's demonstration followed an intense Friday night where protesters in St. Louis blocked highways and threw rocks at the mayor's house after white former police officer Jason Stockley was acquitted in the 2011 shooting death of a black driver, Anthony Lamar Smith. Missouri's governor says while they support peaceful protesters, people who grow violent will go to jail. We are not going to tolerate violence in the state of Missouri. And people who are out there throwing bricks and bottles are going to be thrown in jail. Uh, we're not going to tolerate this, kind, this kind, of, kind of violence uh, in the state of Missouri. And you've seen our law enforcement officers, they're not hanging back. It's very proactively going out to protect people if they're peacefully protesting. But the minute that people turn violent, uh, they're going to they're gonna step in and arrest them. Several events in St. Louis have been canceled because of the protests, including Saturday's U2 concert. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. Taking a look now at some of the morning's other top stories, Baltimore police have made an arrest in a string of carjackings. 29-year-old Robert Crenshaw has been charged with attempted murder, carjackings, and robberies. Investigators say Crenshaw stabbed a 76-year-old man and stole his car Friday morning in the 1,000 block of East Lombard Street. They say Crenshaw also confessed to carjacking other victims on Ann Street and South Chapel Street. In Baltimore County, police are investigating a crash that killed a man walking in Towson. Investigators say a car traveling on Charles Street hit the 65-year-old man Friday. He died later at a hospital. Police are still looking into this crash. So far, no charges have been filed. U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen hosted a health care forum in Baltimore yesterday. Van Hollen talked about what he says are challenges with the Affordable Care Act and how lawmakers should work to provide universal health care. The senator says the current health care system is not perfect, but repealing and replacing it would cause more harm than good. Well, it has been four months now since House Speaker Michael Bush underwent a liver transplant. His sister donated part of her liver to save her brother's life. Mm -hmm. And now for the first time, Speaker Bush, his sister and surgeon are talking about 
what the life-saving surgery did for him. IT reporter David Collins has the exclusive from Annapolis. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, actually very, very good. I, I've had uh, a great recovery thanks to uh, Dr. Barth and his team of physicians and the people at the University of Maryland Medical System. I'm very blessed to have had uh, my sister Lori uh, give me part of her liver. House Speaker Michael Bush is back with a new personal mission to introduce legislation that provides a tax credit for living donors. To encourage people uh, to be living donors. This is how Speaker Bush spent much of his time in the House chamber last session. Still leading, despite feeling and looking sick. Turns out, he was carrying around 30 pounds of extra fluid in his stomach. I couldn't put my socks on, I couldn't do a whole lot of things. Internal bleeding from skin cancer medication eventually led doctors to check out his liver. The diagnosis? Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. He needed a transplant. The University of Maryland Medical Center leads the country in transplants. Living donor liver transplantation is a little unique in that uh, we're taking one liver and we're splitting it. And so when we're doing the operation, there's a lot of sophisticated imaging and mathematic analysis that goes into making sure that both people have enough liver. Without hesitation, the speaker's three sisters step forward as donors. Doctors decided Lori matched the best because she's fit, doesn't smoke or drink, and has a physical feature no one else in the family possess. I just, I just had a feeling it was me. I heard later that they did go for me because I was the tallest, and I thought, oh, okay, great. <laughs> the speaker credits his smooth recovery to his approach to health in general. I think being fit had a lot to do with it. He played tailback at Temple and was even drafted by the Dallas Cowboys. But his football career ended with a knee injury his junior year. It's not like he's been a couch potato during recovery. He spent a week at the beach, returned to his Parks and Rec's job, and to his legislative office. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. Glad to hear he's doing well. Yeah, and I learned a couple of new things about I the speaker I didn't know before. I learned a lot of new things, yeah. Yeah, wishing know? him the best. Yeah, absolutely. Well, teaching kids about the dangers of heroin and opioids coming up, the mandated curriculum taking shape at schools across Maryland. Yeah, plus the Ravens throwing a party, getting ready for the home opener today, and also they're helping out some kids at the same time. And, of course, we do have a gorgeous day here across Baltimore, but we are start tracking some changes in the forecast, especially for Ocean City, how Jose could impact your week plan. The latest details coming up here after the break. This portion of 11 News is brought to you by Steel. Visit your local Steel dealer or steeldealers.com for current pricing or promotions. I love the countertops. And I like the price. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. That feeling, only better. The thrill of getting a better deal than you expected. At the Volkswagen Selldown event, you can get $1,000 cash back on a new 2017 Jetta. Get $1,000 cash back or lease this 2017 Jetta S for just $139 a month after a $1,000 bonus. Offers end October 2nd. Here's to the quality of excellence and physicians from the Orthopedic Specialty Hospital at Mercy. Chief of Orthopedics, Dr. Mark Hungerford, leads the joint replacement team, which performs the most anterior hip replacements in Maryland, minimizing muscle damage and allowing faster recovery. Mercy introduces Dr. J.P. Rue, an orthopedic surgeon specializing in sports injuries, helping athletes and individuals on the road to recovery, and announcing new programs for shoulder, elbow, and hand care, and services for patients needing interventional pain medicine. Dr. Dr. Clifford Jang heads the Institute for Foot and Ankle Reconstruction, a prestigious team of highly trained surgeons recognized throughout the Mid-Atlantic region, pioneering innovative treatment for the full spectrum of foot and ankle disorders. Dr. Chuck Edwards leads the Maryland Spine Center, a team caring for spinal injuries and deformities, with options ranging from state-of-the-art minimally invasive surgery to non-operative treatment. Mercy Orthopedics is once again named by U.S. News and World Report as one of the nation's best. 1-800-MD-MERCY. This is the J.D. Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! Is this required? Does she have to? She doesn't have to. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier because it's the only brand to earn J.D. Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow. It's really nice in here. Get 20% below MSRP on most 2017 Chevy Malibu models. That's over $5,300 on this Chevy Malibu. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Now, your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grinda. 
Welcome back. Do you want to bring you the latest update on Hurricane Jose this morning? Latest update out of the National Hurricane Center coming in and hasn't really changed too, too much overnight. Still maintaining Category 1 hurricane strength of sustained winds 80 miles per hour. So no significant change in the strength. However, it has started to make that turn towards north. That's what we have been waiting for. And it looks like this is really going to shape up as this forecast cone has really been the past several days. So yes, we do anticipate this system to be well off our shoreline. We're talking around 200 miles or so, but nonetheless, it's going to be closest to us once we go into Monday and also Tuesday. So we're looking at some impacts across parts of the Delaware beaches. We're talking Rehoboth down in the Dewey, Bethany, and also we're talking about Ocean City as we go into Tuesday. Then the system curves out to sea and we could see some impacts across parts of Boston and New England. So breaking down this forecast for you, exactly what to expect for Jose. Main impacts, Delaware beaches, Ocean City, Monday and Tuesday. We're looking at the biggest threat actually being the wind continuing to increase as early as late tonight. With that embedded in the winds, we could see some periods of rain, but I do think that main threat will be the winds. And then rough surf kicking up as early as tonight and also the dangerous life-threatening rip, cur rip currents actually starting tonight, lasting through Monday and Tuesday. Do you think it will linger at least until and not really let up until Thursday and Friday of this upcoming week? So yes, please try your best to stay uh, hydrated out there and please try your best to swim safe if you are heading out to the beaches today. Right now, high pressure dominating our weather pattern keeps us high and dry and pretty quiet as of right now. As we go throughout the day, very similar weather pattern to what we saw yesterday. So outdoor plans, certainly a great day for that. Here we go. Future radar taking you through this morning. We're talking 1030, 11 o'clock. Few clouds passing through. I think we're looking at mostly sunny skies then. Anytime after 1, 2 o'clock, we'll start to see some clouds start to build like we saw yesterday. And also a few pop-up showers. Only around a 20% chance of this though. So most of you do stay dry. Just try your best to keep your eye on the sky. Then into tonight, that rain threat diminishes and we're looking at partly cloudy skies into your Sunday night and early Early Monday morning. Temperatures right now, certainly a warm and humid start sitting in the mid 60s for Pikesville, 72 for Baltimore, 64 currently for Edgewood and high temperatures today will reach into the lower 80s. So unusually warm for this time of year. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Gorgeous today. We'll see the rain chances increase with Jose off our coastline Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday into next weekend though. We dry out a gorgeous seven day forecast actually into next weekend, lower 80s. It is a winner, Taylor. Thanks so much. Well, Baltimore is celebrating the Ravens' home opener in style. 98 Rock and former Ravens players hosted the Ravens Reunion Benefit Happy Hour uh, cocktail dinner at Pier 5 Hotel in Baltimore last night. Uh, they had some delicious food there. Fans even got a chance to chat with players from the 2000 Super Bowl winning team. Money raised will benefit programs that provide hands-on education and job training for disadvantaged children. A former Raven tells 11 News that he had a rough upbringing, so he wanted to do his part to help kids. As a former player and, and as a guy who came from a low, low income housing and public housing raised on food stamps, you, all you got to do is go right down the street and see that living classrooms helps kids that were like me. So how could I live here, be here and know my experience and not want to give back? That's the motivation that I have. It was great. The Ravens will take on the Cleveland Browns this afternoon. Kickoff is at one o'clock and there will be plenty of tailgating. If you're up early right now, people are probably already prepping that tailgating stuff. Yeah, I'm sure stuff. they are. I'm sure they are. All right. Well, drug education in Maryland as early as third grade. Coming up, how one local school system is trying to take the lead. Yeah, they are doing that. Plus, taking a stance against racism, the new program in Anne Arundel County that promotes diversity and why the county executive says it is much needed. But first, here's a look at last night's winning lottery numbers. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Let BGE Home help you save energy and keep your family warm this winter with blown-in attic insulation. Now through October 15th, save 25%. Call 888-BGE-HOME today. 
11 News Today, the newscast for you early risers. Good morning, Baltimore. Thanks for waking up with us. Bringing you late-breaking reports. We're following two big stories this morning. Accurate weather forecasts preparing you for the day. We'll expect some heavy rain later today. Traffic reports keeping you one step ahead. A backup on the Beltway. On air and streaming live on the WBAL-TV 11 News app. Everything you need to know before you finished your first cup of coffee. Make 11 News Today. The start of every day. Weekdays beginning at 4.30 a.m. Live, local, late-breaking. Mom's getting more confused. She forgot to eat again. What if she wanders off? That would be horrible. We need to keep her safe at home. We need more help. If you're struggling to care for a loved one with Alzheimer's, dementia, or other challenges with aging, we can help. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. How do you show up? Do you just bring it? Or do you bring it all? Focus. Third row, like a pro. Current GMC lessees can get this low mileage lease on this 2017 GMC Acadia SLE1 for around $249 per month for 24 months. We are professional grade GMC. Over the last 10 years, BGE Home has sold over 30,000 windows, making thousands of families more comfortable. Now, save 30% on each new window. Call 888-BGE-HOME. Welcome back, everyone. In this morning's Education Alert, Anne Arundel County Executive Stephen Shu is taking a stance against racism. Executive Shu kicked off a campaign called Anne Arundel United at the Annapolis Boys and Girls Club. The county plans to set up a community ambassador program to address racial incidents. Plans also include a social media campaign designed to celebrate diversity. Become part of the solution. Become a force for positive and constructive engagement. Become part of Anne Arundel United. Over the summer, the county hired a compliance officer. Her duties include conducting diversity training for the county's more than 6,000 employees. An opioid crisis here in Maryland has opened the door for local school systems to talk about the issue with students, some as early as third grade. 11 News Education reporter Tim Tootin has more on how Anne Arundel County is making this topic a priority. Hello, as students start to focus on a brand new school year, counselors in Anne Arundel County are working behind the scenes to improve drug education programs, to include lessons dealing with opioids. Ron Volklin is the school system director of student services. He says the district has a pretty good idea of what students should expect to learn this year. With third grade, it's going to be a focus on prescription versus non-prescription and teaching kids the difference. Um, fourth grade is going to be making good choices. The school system has already sent out letters to parents of elementary school children. It reads in part, counselors have and will deliver age-appropriate lessons this year that focus on healthy decision-making and the safe use of medication. Similar letters are going out across the state. The result of a new state law aimed at helping school systems reach students earlier. It's not just pie in the sky anymore. It is in every community. It doesn't matter where you are. Baltimore County State Senator oh, Kathy Klausmeyer has been on the front line in the fight against opioids. We've got to talk to parents. We've got to talk to teachers. We've got to talk to the kids and really, really put it on the line that it is a real problem. Besides what will be taught in the classroom, school-based nurses and health assistants have been trained on the use and administration of naloxone, a well-known overdose reverse drug. Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, well, don't go away. Have more news coming up next. Hi, I'm Pete Gilbert. Coming up in sports, Joe Flacco with his look at the Browns and why they need to be maybe a little bit cautious. Plus, we'll check in on the Orioles' bid. There was a bright spot in the Bronx yesterday. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. On the anniversary of his birth, we pay tribute to Albert Boscov with a sale that would make him smile with honest pricing and incredible savings in every department. Like 60% off new fall fashions of Carter's and Oshkosh playwear, sleepwear, and layette. 
Boscov's has all bras at 40% off. Men's new fall sketchers are just $39.99. 1,200 thread count sheet sets any size, $39.99. And you never need a coupon to get the sale price at all Boscov's. Sweet 4K TV, Mr. Peterson. Thanks. I'm pretty psyched. Did you get Fios too? No. Mr. Peterson, Fios is a 100% fiber optic network. What does that mean? Think about it. If you got an awesome new car, you'd put the best gas in it, right? So I hook up your awesome technology to anything other than a fiber optic network. I gotta go. Peterson? Peterson's wife? Count on you guys. Your internet deserves the 100% fiber optic network. And now get 150 meg internet with TV and phone for just $79.99 per month. I used to think news is news, but it's not. There's a big difference between local broadcast news and the rest. See, local stations connect my community on every device, with no bias like on cable shout shows and social media. For news I can trust, I stay local. 11 News at 10 p.m. with Deborah Wiener, Andre Hepkins, and Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. The Early Advantage, every night at 10 on MeTV Baltimore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Get 20% below MSRP on most Chevy Cruze models. That's over $4,800 on this Chevy Cruze. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. With Next Safe Floors, getting new hardwood floors for your home is as easy as one, two, three. First, visit one of our six Baltimore area stores or call us and we'll come to you. Next, choose from hundreds of flooring options, including hardwood, laminate, or luxury vinyl tile. And finally, with 24 month, 0% financing and everyday low prices, you'll have your new floors in no time. Here comes the jingle. Next Safe Floors, we come to you. Call 800-916-6112. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Now, this is 11 Sports. And we've made it to the Ravens' home opener. Later today, the Cleveland Browns come to town. Now, the Ravens don't get to pick their schedule, but it feels like maybe the NFL helped them out a little bit in scheduling, you know, like in homecoming, you want to schedule a team you feel good about beating. Well, the Ravens have beaten the Cleveland Browns 16 of the last 18 times. All right, let's guarantee anything for later today. But Joe Flacco, he would willing to make the point then for sure that they need to stay in the now and not worry about those 16 wins. I mean, it's a completely new team, and these guys have changed a lot, you know, over the years with different coaches, and you know, they got a new coordinator, and they 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 have new personnel. Um, you know, so it, it, it'd be tough for us to to come in here and and think of these guys as the same old team. I mean, they're constantly evolving just like we are. All right, check out the Orioles Saturday afternoon in the Bronx as the 2007 New York Giants threw out first pitches with footballs on them. It went late, it went long. Buck Showalter not terribly thrilled, and I know he didn't like this. Jeremy Hellickson serving it up to D.D. Gregorius in what had been a tie game at zero. Very quickly, three nothing. And then, not done yet. Greg Bird takes Hellickson deep for another three-run shot as the Yankees would build a big lead. Now 9-0 in the ninth. We have a bright spot. Austin Hayes, he had a great year in double A. Had his first career hit earlier in the day, and that is his first career home run. He is certainly part of the Orioles' future, and that future right now is for him a little bit is here. The Orioles, however, they lose it. 9-2 to two will try to avoid the sweep later today against the Bronx. And make sure to join us later tonight after Sunday Night Football for Ravens wrap-up. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Until then, have a great day. All right, time now is 5.56. Here's a look ahead to our next hour of 11 News Sunday morning. Right, protests erupting across the country from St. Louis to the nation's capital. We'll tell you why. In London, police say a second man has been arrested in connection with the subway attack. Plus, I'm tracking Hur Hurricane Jose out for you. We have some brand new information just coming in from the National Hurricane Center. I'll break that down for you coming up here in a few minutes. And breaking free of addiction, how former addicts are sharing their journeys to sobriety when 11 News Sunday morning continues. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
this week on Matter of Fact. We'll go inside the minds of Americans. Is there something in our DNA that lets us believe alternative facts or fake news? Matter of Fact, this morning at 11 on WBAL-TV 11. As Jose threatens the East Coast, turn to 11 News, the latest track of the storm, and pinpointing its exact location. Plus, get constant updates at WBALTV.com and on the WBALTV mobile app. Only from 11 News. One hour guarantees if they're even one minute late, the service is on them. Let's go. And we are five minutes early. <laughs> Sean, your guy? Absolutely. For an on-time guarantee, trust one hour heating and air conditioning. You can see them everywhere. People are playing Raven scratch-offs and winning. Up to $16 million in total cash and prizes. Just like Aaron Vila, who won season tickets for 20 years. Play Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery with a top prize of $100,000. Snap one up today. At Len the Plumber, we know how dedicated you are to what's important. It's that same dedication that drives us to keep your home running without skipping a beat. Dedicated to being there when you need us most. We're here for you seven days a week. It's not just a car. It's your daily retreat. Innovative technology, refined styling, that feeling you can only find in a Lexus. Go ahead, spoil yourself. The ES and ES Hybrid. Lease the 2017 ES350 for $299 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. The markets at Shrewsbury is a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch farmer's market. We are proud to bring our guests good fun and great shopping. We're bursting with farm fresh local produce, fresh meats, and some of the tastiest treats around. Ice cream, delicious soft pretzels, candy, and so much more. Our selection of outdoor structures includes maintenance free play sets and quality made sheds and some of the finest handmade furniture. Just going through John's workload today. Uh, air system not blowing? Typical. System tune-up? No problem. Uh, funny smell coming from vents? Don't even ask. For service you can trust, call the pros at One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to 11 News Sunday morning. Here's what's happening right now at 6. Yeah, from St. Louis right to Washington, D.C., thousands take to the streets in protest. We'll tell you why. Here in Baltimore, police arrest a man in the stabbing of a 76-year-old. Details on what the suspect confessed to investigators. Plus, London remains on critical alert even as British police make a second arrest in the subway bombing. We're going to get to all of those stories and more coming up in just a moment. But first, we are also keeping an eye on Hurricane Jose. Meteorologist Taylor Grenda is tracking that storm for us this morning. Taylor, I'm going to say it again. No way, Jose. Make it a fish storm. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. I will as soon as I possibly can. But we do have some changes that developing overnight with this system. It has maintained its strength. Still a Category 1 hurricane. Sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. However, it has started to make that northerly shift. So I do think that this forecast cone is kind of right on track of what we are expecting. This system nearly 200 miles off our coastline once we go into Monday and also Tuesday. But just coming in with this latest advisory, we do have a tropical storm wide now up for waters south of Fenwick Island. So keep that in mind. This in place through Monday and Tuesday. Meanwhile, today, everything's going to be quiet. A gorgeous one ahead. Great day to head on outdoors. Highs, though, in the lower 80s. Warm and humid. I'll break down the rest of what you need to know for Jose and, of course, your seven-day forecast in a few minutes. Taylor, thanks so much. Well, in cities all across the country this weekend, Americans are taking to the streets in protest and for a variety of reasons. In St. Louis, it's over a police shooting. Yeah, and in Richmond, Virginia, Robert E. Lee statue. And in Washington, support for President Trump and a famous rap duo. Here's 11 News reporter Chris Pallone with more. In St. Louis, protesters took to the streets for a second straight day. 
outraged over a judge's ruling finding a white former police officer not guilty of killing a black man in 2011. Protesters Saturday took their message to a couple shopping malls, a food festival, and a popular entertainment district. The rock band U2 and the St. Louis Symphony canceled concerts over fears of keeping fans safe. Disappointing for all the folks who earn their living working at these concerts and at these events because they'll miss a paycheck because of this. That's because Friday night things turned violent with 11 police officers hurt, several buildings vandalized and 33 people arrested. We will continue to ensure our citizens' First Amendment rights are protected. However, we will not tolerate violence. In Richmond, Virginia, things remained peaceful as a group calling itself the New Confederate States of America marched in support of the city's Robert E. Lee statue. But instead of heated clashes, people on both sides engaged in mostly calm conversations about their differences. I've never met this man. We'd have to go all the way out. We just had, what, a 10-minute conversation. So I can understand where he was coming from, and he can understand where I was coming from. In Washington, competing rallies on the National Mall. Supporters of President Trump held what they called the mother of all rallies. Organizers banned any ties to white supremacy or the alt-right. Speakers offered support for the president and his agenda as anti-Trump protesters looked on. President Trump is trying to make things work for everybody. You know? Just a few yards away, fans of the hip-hop duo Insane Clown Posse, who call themselves Juggalos, protested the Justice Department labeling them a loosely organized hybrid gang. Chris Pallone, WBAL-TV 11 News. Well, here in Baltimore City, police are investigating several shootings. One of them is a homicide. Just after 5.30 yesterday evening, police learned that two men had checked themselves into a hospital with gunshot wounds. One of them died shortly after arriving. Investigators say that victim was shot along the 2700 block of Borman Avenue in northwest Baltimore. And in northeast Baltimore, an 18-year-old man was shot along the 4700 block of Shamrock Avenue. He's being treated at a hospital. Police are searching for suspects in both of those shootings. Baltimore police have arrested the suspect they believe is responsible for a string of carjackings, and they say in one case he stabbed a man. 29-year-old Robert Crenshaw is charged with attempted murder, carjacking, and robberies. According to investigators, Crenshaw stabbed a 76-year-old man and stole his car Friday morning. This in the 1000 block of East Lombard Street. They say Crenshaw also confessed to carjacking other victims on Ann Street and South Chapel Street. A 69-year-old man is recovering this morning after he was attacked in Canton. Police say the victim was waiting at a bus stop in the 3200 block of Eastern Avenue just before 4.30 yesterday morning when three juveniles walked up, attacked him, and searched his pockets. A family member says the man lives in that neighborhood and often catches the bus to work. Police are asking anyone who could help with the investigation to call them. Well, overseas now some new developments this morning in the London subway attack. British police say a second man has been arrested in connection with the attack that injured 30 people. And still this morning, the country remains on a critical alert, meaning that another attack could be imminent. We get the very latest this morning from NBC's Keir Simmons. Today, police raided a suburban house hours earlier, making what Scotland Yard called a significant arrest. After a massive manhunt to find those behind a homemade bomb that sent a fireball through a packed London subway car on Friday. The suspect, an 18-year-old man, detained in the departure area of the port of Dover, a key ferry terminal between Britain and France. He has not yet been charged. At this stage, we're keeping an open mind around whether more than one person is responsible for the attack. Detectives warning Londoners to expect more police activity in the days ahead. 30 people were injured on Friday, some with burns, others in the stampede to escape. There was a poor little boy who smacked his head into the concrete and I won't forget seeing that because he was in his school uniform, terrified. The explosive device included a bucket and a string of lights hidden in a supermarket bag. British security sources tell NBC News that while the detonator on the device fired, the main charge did not. If it had have exploded, many more people might have been maimed or even killed. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, but there's no evidence of their involvement. Britain facing a wave of terror attacks. This was the fifth since March. But the station where dozens were injured Friday reopened today with tightened security and defiant passengers. I think it's very important not to be put off, uh, upset or uh, phased by this type of activity. They can't kill all of us. They only kill a few and try to frighten everyone and I refuse to be frightened. Tonight, Britain's terror threat remains at critical, the highest level. 
and police releasing few details about the man they have arrested. Their priority, to prevent another attack. Keir Simmons, NBC News, London. U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen spoke with Marylanders yesterday about the importance of providing health care to everyone. He hosted a health care forum at Perkins Square Baptist Church in Baltimore. He talked about what he says are challenges with the Affordable Care Act and how lawmakers should work to provide universal health care. Senator Van Hollen says the current health care system is not perfect, but repealing and replacing it would cause more harm than good. Thank people here for organizing to push back against the effort uh, to undo the Affordable Care Act, which uh, if they'd succeeded in blowing up the Affordable Care Act, uh, 23 million Americans would have lost access to affordable health care uh, and hundreds of thousands of uh, Marylanders. So uh, we wanted to say that fight is still not over. The University of Maryland Medical Center was also at the event doing free health screenings. A local foundation is celebrating the success of people who have overcome their addiction. In a very interesting way, hundreds of people gathered to create a forest of hope at Oregon Ridge Park yesterday. And 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring was there. A park turned into an art studio, trees being used instead of canvas. It's the forest of hope. Hundreds of people painted 50 trees in Oregon Ridge Park. The art celebrates life after overcoming the disease of addiction. Their stories are being painted on their trees to share with the public that, hey, addiction is a disease, but it's not what you read about in the paper every day. People do recover if they access the right type of treatment and the right type of support. Artist Jay Wolf Schlossberg Cohen helped bring the stories to life. Small groups work together to paint the designs. Plaques at each tree tell the stories of recovery. The tree is a symbol of life. It is actually living. And in literature, it's a junction between heaven and earth. It is a symbol of resurrection, of rebirth, of hope. Nikki Perlow was 21 when she lost her battle with addiction. Her family honors her memory by helping young adults struggling with the disease. The Forest of Hope Project raised more than $75,000 to provide financial, emotional, and logistical support to young adults like Perlow. We wanted to do something different than a gala. We wanted to do something that, A, that the recovery community would own, meaning this is their project as much as it's the Nikki Perla Foundation project. And B, we wanted something that after the day of the event, it's something that's going to live on so we can share these stories for years to come. There will always be people that suffer from this disease, but just like this tree, this tree will be here, and those that are recovering from the disease of addiction will be here as well. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, the time is now 6:10, and coming up tonight, the TV industry will honor its best work from the past year. And Deb is on pins and needles for this I one. She's going to pop it. that popcorn and get ready to go. <laughs> exactly. And you're coming over. Coming <laughs> up, we'll take a look at which of your favorite shows and actors are up for an Emmy. Disasters in Florida and Texas could have an impact on us here in Maryland. I'm Karen Campbell at the Better Business Bureau. Coming up, what you need to know to stay safe. And maybe you have plans, outdoors, tailgating plans for the Ravens game. Well, it's going to be a great day for that. I'll break down your latest forecast as we take a live look outside. We do have fog developing across Baltimore and the eastern shore this morning, so take it easy out there. I'll be back with the latest update right here after the break. Thompson Creek, our resident experts are with you from inspiration to installation. And now if you buy one window, you get one for 50% off, plus no money down and no interest until 2019. It's our sweetest September sale ever. Home sweet home. in Washington, D.C. Home sweet home in Virginia. Home sweet home in Maryland. Home sweet home, sweet Thompson Creek. Call 855-57-CREEK. Discovery Sport, Beyond Boundaries. Range Rover Evoke, Beyond Convention. Range Rover Sport, Beyond Expectations. Wherever you drive, we always take you above and beyond. The Discovery Sport, Land Rover, Above and Beyond. Ah, dinner. Throughout history, the one meal when we come together, break bread, share our day, and connect as a family. And connect as a family. Just uh, one second, voice guy. 
Hey. I paused it. Bam. Family time. So how is everyone? Find your awesome with Xfinity XFi and change the way you Wi-Fi. We're a nation of fixers. Big things, little things. We fix things people thought never could be fixed. But a good idea goes nowhere without a great night's sleep. So when we saw that the mattress industry was broken, we didn't rest until we'd fixed it. No middlemen, no gimmicks, no nonsense. Because you shouldn't lose sleep over your sleep. We're Tuft and Needle. Wake up better. This is the JD Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! Is this required? Does she have to? She doesn't have to. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier because it's the only brand to earn JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow. It's really nice in here. Get 20% below MSRP on most 2017 Chevy Malibu models. That's over $5,300 on this Chevy Malibu. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Need an electrician? Walter Electric is wired to work for you. Outlet and switch repairs, recessed lighting and ceiling fans. Trust the experts at Walter Electric for all your home electrical needs. Walter Electric, wired to work. Now, your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grenda. Welcome back and happy Sunday. Hope your day is off to a great start. And we're going to have a nice day here across Baltimore. But I do want to start with Hurricane Jose. Latest update coming in, keeping this category one hurricane sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. So no significant change in the strength of the storm. However, it has started to make that northerly turn, moving at about eight miles per hour. That's really what we have been waiting for to happen. And it kind of happened right on point. So forecast track is certainly a, a go. And I think it is uh, really shaping up to be what it actually actually will be nearly 200 miles off our coastline once we go into Monday and Tuesday. So I think main impacts if we do even see too, too much will be felt across parts of the Delaware beaches down into Ocean City. Then the system tracks up towards New England and Boston once we go into Wednesday and it's out of here. So having that said, with the latest advisory out of the National Hurricane Center, we have uh, we do have a tropical storm watch now in effect south of Fenwick Island just along the water. So heads up if you're heading to the beach anytime between late tonight, uh, even tomorrow and Tuesday, that's when we're tracking the main impact. So breaking that down for you for Ocean City, also the Delaware beaches, we're looking at wind primarily. That's going to be the biggest threat with periods of rain embedded into that. We're talking Monday and Tuesday again, rough surf and also dangerous rip currents increasing as early as today. So if you had plans at the beach this afternoon, uh, it's not going to be the best one to head into the water. Swim safe out there right now, though, high pressure in control of our weather is really keeping us nice and quiet here on radar. That's really going to be the trend throughout your Sunday. So if you have those outdoor plans, once again, I think the main factor will actually be the heat and the humidity. It's going to be a little bit sticky out there. We'll see sunshine in place this morning. Future radar taking you through this afternoon. We're talking one and two o'clock is when we'll start to see some clouds pop up and build throughout the area. Also, I think we're looking at a few very isolated showers. Again, only a 20% chance for a passing shower. So if you do have tailgating plans outdoors, things definitely a thumb up and then for tonight after six o'clock the rain threat really starts to diminish and we're looking at partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours temperatures right now good morning to everyone we're sitting in the mid 60s even around 72 degrees right now in baltimore so a little bit of a warm and kind of muggy start. High temperatures today will be maybe a little bit uncomfortable. You may break a sweat outside. Mid 80s across the board. A little bit warmer than we typically see this time of year. Here's a quick check on that seven day forecast. Gorgeous today, Monday and Tuesday. That's when we're watching the impacts of Jose throughout the region. Wednesday though, sunshine returns and we're dry heading into next weekend. Deb, come over here. <laughs> I was being kicked out. No, you're supposed to come back. And okay. We're going to talk about your favorite, the Emmys. Whew. <laughs> All right. Well, the television industry, I do love. I like <laughs> award shows, period. Yes. So much so that I had to step out of the way. <laughs> the television industry honors its best of the year tonight. The Emmy Awards will not be given to us, but <laughs> handed out in L.A. We might get the blooper award. <laughs> exactly. uh, the big It's a big night for NBC's Saturday Night Live. It earned the most overall nominations. It has 22 this year. And as 11 News' Mark Barger reports, the network's hit drama This Is Us could also have reason to celebrate. 
From the get-go, viewers embraced NBC's This Is Us. The Television Academy has, too. Ten Emmy nominations, including Best Drama. And that means that people are, are noticing you and sort of liking what you're doing. Best Drama has been dominated by cable series over the past decade, but with two-time winner Game of Thrones ineligible this year, the doors opened up a bit. Hopefully we, we bring a few of them home. That would be nice. I mean, right, the, you want to win, right? Hartley's TV sister, Chrissy Metz, is nominated for Best Supporting Actress, while his TV brother, Sterling K. Brown, and his TV dad, Milo Ventimiglia, are both vying for Best Actor. In my nomination, I get to celebrate the people that make my performance what it is, and because I feel like I'm also giving to them, so it's it isn't... It's not mine, it's, it's everyone's. This Is Us already has one Emmy in hand. Last weekend, Gerald McCraney won Best Guest Actor. I am the best of the best. For his role as kindly Dr. Katowski. It's the first time McCraney had been nominated during his five decades in Hollywood. This is like the pinnacle and coming this late in my career. It's awfully pleasant to have something like this happen. And regardless of whether This Is Us earns additional Emmys tonight, McCraney says the show's already proven plenty. The audience hasn't given up on itself, hasn't given up on the human race, and that there is still room for honest emotion and good people. And just maybe a few more Emmys. Mark Barger, WBAL-TV 11 News. People love This Is Us. I mean, they're, like, obsessed with it. I know, and I heard it's great. One of these days, I'm just going to binge it. Yeah, we'll binge it together. We'll <laughs> yeah. okay. All right, coming up, uh, why you may want to think twice about making guacamole. This no. makes me sad. Me too. Up next in Consumer Alert, the price of avocados is skyrocketing. You may notice it the next time you go to the grocery store. If you like taking yoga classes, here's one with a twist. You've heard of Downward Dog. Well, what about Downward Cat? It's happening at the Humane Society of Hartford County. We'll tell you how you can sign up for classes straight ahead. I love her. <laughs> I just love her. But first, here's a look at some of the events going on around town this weekend. open their new stadium, their first guest is Aaron Rodgers. So we'll see if the scoreboard works. It's an NFC Championship rematch. Packers, Falcons, only on NBC. Brought to you locally on WBAL-TV by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, legendary safety and reliability. What drives you? Toyota, let's go places. Toyota Camry, the official car of the Baltimore Ravens. Toyota, let's go places. Sweet 4K TV, Mr. Peterson. Thanks. I'm pretty psyched. Did you get Fios too? No. Mr. Peterson, Fios is 100% fiber optic network. What does that mean? Think about it. If you got an awesome new car, you'd put the best gas in it, right? So I hook up your awesome technology to anything other than a fiber optic network. I gotta go. Peterson? Peterson's wife? Count on you guys. Your internet deserves the 100% fiber optic network. And now get 150 meg internet with TV and phone for just $79.99 per month. I've been trying to prepare for this day. And I'm still not ready. <laughs> the reason I'm telling you this is that there will be moments in your life that we'll never be ready for. Your little girl getting married being one of them. Live and summer with big stars. Is that a pumpkin latte already? Next live, Shonda Rhimes on TGIT plus Ben McKenzie. <laughs> Tomorrow at 10 on TV 11. Welcome back, everyone. In this morning's Consumer Alert, buyers need to be aware vehicles damaged during Hurricane Harvey and Irma could make their way to some Maryland-used car lots. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell spoke with workers at the Better Business Bureau about this and other scams to watch out for. If something is too good to be true, it probably is. And workers here at the Better Business Bureau says scammers are coming up with new ways to target unsuspecting people. 
right now. Angie Barnett, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland, says scammers are trying to profit from the devastation caused by Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. They're selling flooded cars. They can literally have them turned around and flooding our market within days. And that's the thing we want to be careful of. It's estimated that Harvey flooded more than 500,000 vehicles in Texas. Barnett says used car lots will replace inventory with flooded vehicles that have been cleaned out. Look at the uh, screws that mount the seat to the car. If the screws have been um, fresh, uh, freshly replaced, that might be an indicator that the seats were removed for the carpet to be dried and cleaned. Barnett recommends getting a Carfax report or have a trusted mechanic check out the vehicle. Another scam to be leery of is investment fraud. People looking to help rebuild hurricane-ravaged communities. These are really Ponzi schemes. They are designed to uh, capitalize on the desire to help the desire to make a buck. Burnett says watch out for red flags like unsolicited emails or social media messages asking for donations. What you want to do is ask yourself, is this the smartest way and the smartest time to invest? Don't hurry into it and always use an investor that is registered with the SEC. Barnett says before you hand over your hard-earned cash, do your research to make sure you are donating to a legitimate organization. For more information on how you can protect yourself and stay safe, just go to our website, WBALTV.com. We have everything you need to know right on our website. Reporting downtown, Karen Campbell, WBAL TV 11 News. Well, and Hurricane Irma could also impact how much you pay for some citrus fruits. A grower group says more than half of the citrus crop grown in South Florida was lost due to the storm. Oranges and grapefruits hit especially hard. The group also says it impacted fields in southern and central parts of the state where other crops grow, including strawberries and tomatoes. Florida is second to Brazil in global production of oranges used for juice. Indian River orange juice, so good. All right, if you are cost conscious, you might want to think twice about adding guacamole the next time you make Mexican or dine out. The price of avocados skyrocketing. It's up 125% since the beginning of the year. According to the American Restaurant Association, a standard box of 48 avocados now costs more than $83. The key drivers behind the price surge, a weak harvest, and also insatiable demand for those avocados. Yes, I spent $5.99 for a little tub of it at the grocery store the other day. Yikes. All right, stay with us. More news is coming up next, but first here is Jason Newton with a look at what's coming up later this morning on 11 TV Hill. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Adam. Coming up this morning on 11 TV Hill, devastating back-to-back -back blows to the U.S. The impact of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma and the ongoing efforts to bring a sense of normalcy to the affected areas. And a brutal hurricane season so far. Meteorologist Abe Marie breaks down the significant features of the storms that we've had. Plus, a look ahead at what could be brewing. That's this morning at 1130. We'll see you then. News breaks in Maryland. Sky Team 11 is there. Captain Roy Taylor has the experience to keep you informed. Weeknights on WBAL TV 11 News. The lowest RV prices in the nation, right here in Maryland, at the huge RV Super Sale this Thursday through Sunday at the Timonium Fairground. Free admission Thursday and Friday with military ID. Free parking. Check out TimoniumRV.com. With the Xfinity Best Offer of the Year, you just can't miss. Get epic internet and Wi-Fi. X1 with built-in Netflix. And when you add Xfinity Mobile, get up to five lines. Dude, perfect. Get our best offer of the year on the X1 Triple Play and get free installation. Plus, get X1 DVR free for a year. Go online, call, or visit us today. The lowest RV prices in the nation, right here in Maryland, at the huge RV Super Sale this Thursday through Sunday at the Timonium Fairground. Free admission Thursday and Friday with military ID. Free parking. Check out TimoniumRV.com. Which A-lister is hiding out to conceal her baby bottle? If you want the real story, it's who's on the inside that counts. Page 6 TV. Weekdays at 12.30 on TV 11. If you need a medical malpractice lawyer, how do you find the best medical malpractice law firm? Would you want a law firm that has recovered over $1 billion for its clients? Would you want a law firm which has been recognized by U.S. News, Best Law Firms, Newsweek Premier Law Firms, and many others? Would you choose lawyers that have been named Medical Malpractice Trial Lawyer of the Year in Baltimore or Trial Lawyer of the Year in Maryland for 2013, 14, 15, and 16? 
then you want to call Shakur, Federico, and Staten today. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Get 20% below MSRP on most Chevy Cruze models. That's over $4,800 on this Chevy Cruze. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. All right, well, in Falston, there is a new yoga class with quite a twist. The Humane Society of Hartford County is offering two different types of yoga, and you just might end up with a new exercise partner. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti explains. Doing poses holding a cat is a little bit difficult, but we're working through it. <laughs> they are, and quite well, actually. Forget about downward dog. This little girl is all about the downward cat. At the Humane Society of Hartford County, you can take a cat yoga class each month with adoptable pets. So you get to come in and relax and do some yoga. And it's a super fun yoga class. It's not really uh, strict in, in terms of the poses. It's about having fun with the cats. They'll come over and play with you if they want to. We try to put really friendly cats in the class. It's great socialization for the cats and a stress reducer for you. Jessie Simmons has done yoga with horses before, but this is her first time with a cat yogi. She definitely feels relaxed. She's purring. She's loose. Her language is nice and quiet, so I think she's feeling some kind of connection. And if you just want to connect with other animal lovers, there are six-week adult yoga classes being offered as well. We have two six-week series starting this Sunday, the 17th at 10 a.m. Uh, here at the shelter. And you can sign up for an individual class, which is $12, or you can sign up for the six-week series all at once for $60. The next cat yoga class is this Saturday. Spots are still available. Come for the exercise and you may leave with a new yoga partner. That may be an ulterior motive, perhaps, yes. <laughs> In Falston, Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News. <laughs> I want to do goat yoga. Have you seen that? Oh, they walk on your back? <laughs> do they really? Yeah. What, don't they have hooves, though? Would that hurt? <laughs> I think they do have hooves. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, well, coming up. Yeah, talk. Get us somewhere. I cannot talk this morning. This is too funny working with Deb. We're going to have a look at our top stories. <laughs> Many residents in Florida are now returning home after Irma. Find out how they are coping after the deadly storm next. And we have our eyes on Hurricane Jose. I'll bring you the latest update and, of course, everything else you need to know. Some changes in the Ocean City forecast coming up here right after the break. Let BGE Home help you save energy and keep your family warm this winter with blown-in attic insulation. Now through October 15th, save 25%. Call 888-BGE-HOME today. Who knew that phones would start doing everything? Entertaining us, getting us back on track, and finding us dates. Phones really have changed, so why hasn't the way we pay for them? Introducing Xfinity Mobile. You only pay for data and can easily switch between pay per gig and unlimited. No one else lets you do that. See how much you can save. Choose by the gig or unlimited. Xfinity Mobile, a new kind of network designed to save you money. Call, visit, or go to XfinityMobile.com. Estate planning, elder law, and special needs planning. Most people don't have a plan. Others fail to update their planning for many years. And nearly all people who do planning receive no legal education. At Elville & Associates, our mission is to educate our clients. And we provide practical, collaborative planning solutions for individuals and families, all with an educational component. To make an appointment or to receive our free guide, call us or visit us on the web. Elville & Associates, planning for life planning for legacies. We've never had more. Gadgets, gizmos, more stuff than we know what to do with. But happiness doesn't come from earning more or owning more. It comes from spending time with people you love, connecting with community, moving your body and staying healthy. Do you have time for that? You do if you do them all in one place. The Y, a million different ways to make everyone happy for one low price. Pay no joining fee through the 20th. Sign up online at joinymaryland.org. Paradontex, the toothpaste that helps prevent bleeding gums. If you spit blood when you brush or floss, you may have gum problems and could be on the journey to much worse. Help stop the journey of gum disease. Try Paradontex toothpaste. Over the last 10 years, BGE Home has sold over 30,000 windows. 
making thousands of families more comfortable. Now, save 30% on each new window. Call 888-BGE-HOME. This is WBAL TV 11 News Sunday morning. Welcome back to 11 News Sunday morning. I'm Adam May. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I'm Deborah Wiener. Jen is off today. We'll get to our top stories in just a moment. First. <laughs> First. After you. Taylor Granda. <laughs> after you, Deb. Taylor's here. <laughs> Taylor's here. I'm here. Taylor, I'm sorry. We're caffeinated. We are going to try to be very serious. <laughs> You can barely keep a straight face. <laughs> For like two seconds. For like two seconds. But no, on a more serious note, we are tracking Hurricane yeah. Jose, of course. Something that's really going to be something we are monitoring over the next several days. So no significant change in terms of strength overnight. Still category one hurricane with sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. However, we have seen that northerly turn. So that's what we were waiting for. It pretty much happened when we thought it would happen. So the forecast track is still on point with this system nearly 200 miles off our coastline going into Monday and Tuesday. So something we will bring the latest update on you here in a few minutes. Meanwhile, we do have some patchy dense fog developing across the area. So take it easy out there if you're stepping outdoors right now. Temperatures this afternoon will be nice and warm and muggy highs in the mid 80s. Taylor, thanks so much. Well, as you mentioned, Hurricane Jose is coming and people along the northeastern shore are getting ready just in case residents of Connecticut shoreline keeping a pretty close eye on the path of the storm. Marinas there are warning people to take precautions before it's too late. In the Florida Keys, residents began to return this weekend for the first time since Hurricane Irma swept through and caused widespread damage there. NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh spoke with some of them. Nearly a week after the storm, this is what Irma left behind in the Florida Keys. Devastation, trees toppled, boats overturned, and hundreds of homes gone. In Marathon, residents returned home for the first time. What do you guys need to do to recover from this? We don't know yet. Ivan Dibbles lost his mother in the storm. He spoke to her on Sunday, hours before the hurricane hit. I didn't regret it today, and try to put a hair out of here. <sighs> Please know I don't have a mother. Ivan and his mother, 61-year-old Marcy Rodriguez, live together in their mobile home, where Marcy chose to ride out the storm with their pets. There was no convincing her to leave? No. No. Ivan still searching for his pets. I lost my mom. I don't want to lose any more animals. But in this close-knit community, no shortage of love. Thank you. Thank you. Families across the Keys are returning to rebuild their lives, including Rosie Herrera and her loved ones. People are already picking up. They want to get everything back to normalcy, you know? So we're all pitching in and working hard. That was Lucy Cavanaugh reporting. Well, people displaced by Hurricane Harvey in Port Arthur, Texas, are being moved into tents. Emergency officials have put up some 250 tents in a parking lot. Each one can hold up to 14 people. Officials say men and women are being put in different tents and families are staying together in other tents. City officials say they also plan to set up one big tent that can hold 250 people and they'll put some barriers inside to separate men and women. Finally finding a balance after a couple of weeks and we're happy that uh, people will be safe and feel comfortable here. The mayor says the tents are temporary shelters. People can stay for about 30 days, but he says that could be extended. FEMA and county officials are working on a long-term housing solution. That's really incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, up next, what to do if you are a victim of the Equifax security breach? Yeah, plus Ravens football is back, and that means VIP treatment for a few lucky groups. How an investment in themselves and their future landed a group of Baltimore students in this week's Honor Roads. And if you have outdoor plans today, it's going to be a warm and humid one. For the last week of, weekend of summer, it's certainly going to feel like summer. I'll break down the latest forecast in your hour by hour coming up here after the break. This portion of 11 News is brought to you by the RV Super Sale of the Timonium Fairgrounds this weekend, September 14th through 17th. Visit TimoniumRV.com for details. At Len the Plumber, we know how dedicated you are to keeping your home running. It's that same dedication that drives us to be there when you need us most. You know the way to get a plumber today. Just call and the plumber. I've been in Baltimore for 
been going on 10 years now, and I call it home. It's an awesome city, and I think myself, M&T Bank, the Ravens, we're all a part of that, and, and we're trying every day to make it as good as we can. Their commitment to this city is second to none, and I can't imagine a better partner than the Ravens. The events that we've done with M&T have been really cool. I mean, they've really revolved around kids going out to the field and just seeing their faces light up. The Baltimore Ravens and M&T Bank are such a strong team. We're all working to make this town a better place. On the anniversary of his birth, we pay tribute to Albert Boscov with a sale that would make him smile with honest pricing and incredible savings in every department, like 60% off new fall fashions of Carter's and Oshkosh playwear, sleepwear, and layette. Boscov's has all bras at 40% off. Men's new fall sketchers are just $39.99. 1,200 thread count sheets at any size, $39.99. And you never need a coupon to get the sale price at all Boscov's. How is affordable dentures and implants so much less expensive? It's all they do, so they're amazing. But who has time for all that? Everybody. They made these while we waited. <laughs> Took one day. They'll treat me okay? Like family. I can't believe I'm doing this. We should have done it years ago. For affordable dentures, implants, and extractions, call 1-800-DENTURE today. One call and one day can change your tomorrow. Now, your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grenda. Good morning, happy Sunday. I do want to bring you the latest update on Hurricane Jose this morning. Again, no significant change overnight with the strength of this system. Still a Category 1 hurricane. Sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. However, notice the turn now off from the north at around 8 miles per hour. The northerly turn has been something we have been certainly waiting for and anticipated it to happen as it did this morning. So as it does make that northerly turn, I do think the forecast track is pretty much on point. We're looking at this system off our coast, nearly 200 miles off of it uh, as we go into Monday and into Tuesday. So any impacts we do see, I think will be mainly felt across parts of the Delaware beaches down into Ocean City. So if you do have any kind of plans early this week uh, there, uh, it's not going to be the best few days, especially not on along the water. Then the system continues to track northward and impacts parts of New England going into Wednesday and then turns out to sea. So having that said, with the latest advisory, we do have a tropical storm of watch. Now this engulfs areas just south of Fenwick Island, but keep in mind this is just area water. So extending off the shoreline because we could see at least some gusts that do reach a threshold of tropical storm force winds. However, I do think that this threat is going to be relatively low and minimum. Here we go, breaking down exactly what to expect. Ocean City, Monday and Tuesday, the main impacts from Jose. Winds will be the main threat embedded in the wind gusts, we could see some periods of rain. In addition to this, surf will start to increase as early as today. That rip current threat definitely dangerous increasing as early as today, lingering through much of this upcoming week. So it's not going to be the best few days to head into the water, trying to just stay on the sand for today. High pressure right now is starting to build into the area. That's going to keep us relatively quiet throughout the next 24 hours. So as we go throughout your Sunday, if you have those outdoor plans, maybe tailgating, taking outdoors, it's going to be another great day for that very similar weather pattern to what we saw yesterday. So if you like that, you're going to like today. We'll see mostly sunny skies throughout this morning. Future radar, though, taking you into this afternoon. We're talking after 1 and 1 30. We'll start to see some cloud coverage build. Also around a 20% chance of an isolated shower. So nothing too significant. Just keep in mind, we could see a shower move in and move out within 10 to 15 minutes. So don't let it hinder your outdoor plans. For tonight, that shower threat diminishes, and we're looking at partly cloudy skies heading into early Monday morning. Temperatures right now, we're nice and comfortable. However, we are certainly a little bit muggy, with temperatures coming in in the 60s, 72 degrees right now, though, in Baltimore across the board. High temperatures today will reach back into the low to mid 80s, so a little bit unusually warm for this time of year as well. Here's a quick check on that seven day forecast. Gorgeous today. We do have the increasing rain threat as Jose nears our coastline Monday and Tuesday and the drying out going into next weekend.
All right, Taylor, thank you. There is a new twist this morning in the Equifax security breach, which is affecting 143 million people, nearly every adult in the U.S. The company is now accused of failing to install a security patch months before it was hacked that could have prevented the breach. This as millions of Americans rush to protect themselves. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. With reports that MasterCard and Visa are notifying banks that 200,000 of their customer credit card numbers were among those lost in the Equifax breach, public outrage continues to boil. In Texas, Michael Whipp's information was first stolen two years ago. Now, with the Equifax hack, he and his wife have frozen their credit reports. Total cost, $40. It makes me angry that I have to pay these credit bureaus money to do what they should have been doing to begin with, and that's protect my information, my wife's information. Credit scores aren't just used for loans and credit cards. They can also affect your ability to get a job, car insurance, rent an apartment, turn on the power, even sign up for a new cell phone. I think what this breach points to is that we need better control for American consumers over the information in our credit reports. More allegations of negligence at Equifax. In a statement online, Equifax blamed the May hack on criminals who exploited a U.S. website application vulnerability in Apache Struts software. But Apache says it issued an urgent security patch to fix that vulnerability two months earlier on March 7th. Today, Apache said Equifax bears responsibility for lax security. The Equifax uh, data you know, security breach was absolutely due to their failure to install the associated patches for the Apache Stretch uh, project. Late today, Equifax told NBC News it did not identify the vulnerability until July 29th, when it then took immediate action to stop the intrusion. Among the questions investigators have, why did it then take six weeks for Equifax to go public? They kept Americans at risk during that period of time. We want to know why that is and get to the bottom of it. It is a mess, and many people have no idea where to begin to protect themselves after a hack of this size. Dr. Alan Cox is here from the Maryland Council on Economic Education to help us kind of get through this. So you were saying you should just assume that you are a victim, correct? Yeah, Deborah. Everybody should probably assume right now that they've become a victim wow. or a potential victim of identity theft. Uh, Equifax has a website. It's Equifax Security. 2017.com and if you go to that website what will happen is they'll get some information from you including part of your social security number and then they'll take that information and check to see if you may become a victim okay and from may become a victim. may become a victim that's what they're saying okay and from there you can get something called trusted ID uh-huh uh, which is what Equifax is offering folks uh, free of charge and it kind of is an extra protection for monitoring your account, looking that their social security number has been used. Uh, there's a million dollars in uh, identity theft protection insurance. Uh, but they're only making this available until November 21st. Um, what we're recommending at the Maryland Council on Economic Education, basically what we do is we try to make sure Marylanders um, have the information they need to, need to make informed financial and economic decisions. And we do that through teacher training. Okay. Uh, through schools. And what we're recommending is that everyone, everyone should freeze their accounts with the three credit bureaus. So Equifax, freeze your credit report. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Um, there's a charge for it. Equifax is not charging. The other two are. There's only $5 charge in Maryland to freeze your account. Okay. And you said also you want to set up fraud alerts on your credit report. Yeah, the fraud alerts, uh, are, there's no charge for that, but they only last for 90 days. Okay. And the fraud alert is really just a recommendation uh, that anyone who's offering you credit should take extra protection, uh, extra precaution to make sure that you are who you say you are. From your perspective, you've been keeping an eye on things like this over the years. How would you characterize sort of the magnitude of this problem? It's, it's almost hard to wrap your head around yeah. how big this is, 143 million possible. Equifax is saying that only about 209,000 of the 143 million are actually uh, uh, vulnerable to their credit card numbers being out there. And there's another 189,000 who supposedly have um, uh, disputes with Equifax that uh, could be affected. But I, th I think everybody should assume that they are now possible victims of identity theft. Well, very good advice. We appreciate you coming in to get us, get us through this. Dr. Cox, Thanks thank for you having so us. much. All right, and we'll be right back with more news. But first, here's a look at last night's winning lottery numbers.
Mercy Medical Center, ranked by U.S. News and World Report as one of the nation's best orthopedic centers and the number three hospital in Maryland. Here's to the quality of Mercy. So when Crystal said that Coons had sold over two million vehicles, I was like, what? Two million? Seriously? I mean, that's like, that's a lot of cars. When you're talking cars, you're talking Coons. WBAL TV 11 News. Digging up the facts and bringing you more information than any other news station. Breaking news and a team of reporters covering Maryland's biggest stories. Your WBAL TV 11 weather forecast. Exclusive I-Team investigations. Get the latest on our teams with 11 Sports. Know what's going on in our community. With Maryland's live local late-breaking news leader. Weeknights at 11. On WBAL TV 11 News tonight. Now at Thompson Creek, if you buy one window, you get one for 50% off, plus no money down and no interest until 2019. The big September sale from your resident experts. Call 855-57-CREEK. Experience the joys of authentic German tradition at Aberdeen Proving Grounds Centennial Year Oktoberfest from September 28th through the 30th. Enjoy live local music, German food, local craft beer, games, and fun for the whole family capped off with a firework finale on Saturday night. For tickets and more information, visit APGMWR.com September 28th through the 30th. The event is open to the public, rain or shine. Please drink responsibly. Paid for by IMWRF. I tried hard to quit smoking, but when we brought our daughter home, <laughs> that was it. Now I have Nicoderm CQ. The Nicoderm CQ patch with unique extended release technology helps prevent your urge to smoke all day. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. Every great why needs a great how. So when Crystal said that Coons had sold over 2 million vehicles, I was like, what? 2 million? Seriously? I mean, that's like, that's a lot of cars. When you're talking cars, you're talking Coons. Well, welcome back. All season long, youth groups making a positive impact on their communities will get to sit in a place of honor during the Ravens games. This week's honor row recipients will be getting VIP treatment. 11 News reporter Lacey Griffith tells us about one group that is investing in their future by learning financial literacy. As the sun sets in the city, teens in the Banner Neighborhoods Lift program are feeling fulfilled after a day's work. I'm looking forward to seeing you all take it to another level. Waverly Carter, known as Coach around here, leads the program. It stands for Leveraged Income for Tomorrow, teaching financial literacy to kids from 14 to 21. So you can have a tremendous business doing it in the medical field. The program starts with a meeting. You want to join me out front? but moves outside where Coach has an active lesson ready for the kids. How to run a hot dog stand. Think like the owners. Don't think like the players. Teaching them how to start their own business. Teamwork make the dream work. I wanted to learn more about like being an entrepreneur because that was one thing I, I was considering for my future. Good. Lessons they can take home and share with their families. I see so much strength in these kids. And these kids do not realize they have entrepreneurship skills until they come to the classes and they say, oh, I can do this. Derek Smith, now at MICA, says Coach and this program really helped prepare him for his future. I learned how to get really organized and focused. Coach says the proof is in the, well, hot dog bun. Success is happening for some of the students. To see two of my kids from last year actually go out and start their own business was phenomenal. Ready? One, two, three. Creating a positive path in life, one lesson, one hot dog, and one student at a time. Exquisite. Lacey Griffith, WBAL, TV 11 News. And we also feature the Frostburg State Echo Stars in Western Maryland. The AmeriCorps program is for first-year students with upper-class mentors at the university. They live, take class, and serve together. Each member logs at least 300 hours and serves with more than 20 different nonprofits each year. AmeriCorps is wonderful. They help with after-school programs, weekend service projects, and more. Two groups excited to help the community and excited to sit in the honor rows. Kind of. All right, just take a look at this. Okay, <laughs> you could like put on calories just looking at this picture here right now. Jim Mullen, operations manager of Duncan Brands, joining us here in studio. I see the girls are off to the side eyeing up these donuts, Jim. Uh, this looks like a Ravens fest going on here, a lot of purple. 
It is. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having yeah. us. Um, we have got great Raven stuff. Uh, so we're so excited football season's back, right? right? Raven's home opener. We're looking for that second win. And if you want to take some food to the tailgate this morning, we've got some great products to, to help you out. Now, these uh, the purple sprinkles taste different, or they taste just like good old Jimmy? So. They taste like <laughs> sprinkles you know yeah, and right, love. They're exactly. just purple, and they fit. So uh -huh. we've got our Raven's Nation, uh, Raven's Flock Donut back, which is a yeast-filled, uh, buttercream-filled, chocolate-frosted, sprinkled which is my personal mm, favorite yum. then we have post purple which has got white icing and the uh purple sprinkles as well. This will really get you in the mood for all this. These are genuine iced coffees that we can start to drink, right? Yeah, help Not yourself. that Deb and I need more caffeine this morning, <laughs> but why not, right? When right. in Rome. Exactly. We also have a, a great fall lineup Ooh, that's that a good one. uh has everything oh, pumpkin back? This is pumpkin. Is that what I'm drinking it's here? It's pumpkin, right? It's fall. You can't. Okay, can't I fall said I was pumpkin. gonna wait for all this pumpkin stuff until it actually felt like fall. And I know Taylor says it's like 80 something degrees today, so I'm breaking my promise to myself. But it's very good. <laughs> fall can be a state of mind, right? It is. So we have pumpkin donuts, pumpkin coffee, pumpkin um, mm. muffins, and even pumpkin cream cheese are if these you really want pumpkin some. something. They are the pumpkin munchkins, right pumpkin there. Pumpkin munchkins. Then we also have. Girls, you want one of these pumpkin munchkins? Oh, yeah. Come on in, you guys. We got time. No. You're all by yourself. Mm, oh my gosh, so good. See, here they come. Okay, come on. Then you can go really, if you really want to indulge, we've got the maple, um, maple bacon breakfast sandwich, mm -hmm. which is a double portion of bacon, egg and cheese um, on a croissant. So you can't, you can't beat that. Jim, we love it when you guys come in because it's such great information. But it really, it's just really great that you bring us breakfast, too. What can I say? Yeah. I mean, we have, it's coffee and donuts. We have a great time. We've got to tell you, though, about these great promos, though. Because okay, when, really the, when the Ravens win today, yes. tomorrow, Didi Perks um, members can get a free medium hot or iced coffee uh, for Ravens win. You win. Uh -huh. Then they come back on Friday, yeah. buy a larger and extra large coffee, and you get a free donut. All right, so we need the Ravens to win in more ways than one. Stay with us. we got more news coming up, and we're just going to eat during this commercial break. <laughs> It's tradition. We've all done it. Mine. When does ritual become abuse? Do it or you're out. Hazing in America. What parents and students need to know now. Join the live discussion Monday, only on Today. Today at Price Busters, you can refurnish one room or your entire home with no money down. Complete seven-piece bedroom, just $19 payments with no money down. It's all in stock. Buy it today. Get it today with no money down at Price Busters Furniture. Jones Junction Tag Frames. You see them from Ocean City to Pennsylvania, Elkton to Westminster, and everywhere in between. Jones Junction has been a family-owned dealership for 100 years. It's only 15 minutes from White Marsh Mall. Come find out for yourself what Jones has to offer. Huge selection, great prices, and great people is what brings people to Jones and keeps them coming back. Don't forget Jones for a lifetime. Free oil changes, car washes, manicures, and an engine guaranteed for a lifetime. Stop by Jones Junction to see what Jones Junction has to offer or check us out online at jonesjunction.com. Is he a Casanova con man? He's despicable. He says they're lying. They're scorned women. Next, Inside Edition. Monday at 7 on TV 11. Let BGE Home help you save energy and keep your family warm this winter with blown-in attic insulation. Now through October 15th, save 25%. Call 888-BGE-HOME today. With Next Day Floors, getting new hardwood floors for your home is as easy as one, two, three. First, visit one of our six Baltimore area stores or call us and we'll come to you. Next, choose from hundreds of flooring options, including hardwood, laminate, or luxury vinyl tile. And finally, with 24 month, 0% financing and everyday low prices, you'll have your new floors in no time. Here comes the jingle. Next Day Floors, we come to you. Call 800-916-6112. Wow, that's a Chevy. The most awarded lineup in the industry has people at a loss for words. Well, almost. Wow, are you kidding me? Wow. This is wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Experience the wow factor. Take home an award-winning Chevy today. Head to your local Chevy dealer and get $37.50 total cash allowance. Or 0% financing for 72 months on most Chevy Traverse models in stock. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Over the last 10 years, BGE Home has sold over 30,000 windows, making thousands of families more comfortable. Now, save 30% on each new window. Call 888-BGE-HOME. 
If you're just getting up, good morning. It is 6.56, and here's a look ahead to our next hour of 11 News Sunday morning. Protests are up across the country from St. Louis right to the nation's capital. We'll tell you why. In London, police say a second man has now been arrested in connection with the subway attack. Plus, well, I'm tracking Jose out for you. The latest updates and what you can expect heading into the next several days coming up here in a few minutes. And breaking free of addiction, how former addicts are sharing their journey to sobriety. When 11 News Sunday Morning continues, stay with us. As Jose threatens the East Coast, turn to 11 News, the latest track of the storm, and pinpointing its exact location. Plus, get constant updates at WBALTV.com and on the WBALTV mobile app. Only from 11 News. The lowest RV prices in the nation, right here in Maryland, at the huge RV Super Sale, this Thursday through Sunday at the Timonium Fairground. Free admission Thursday and Friday with military ID. Free parking. Check out TimoniumRV.com. When the Falcons open their new stadium, their first guest is Aaron Rodgers. So we'll see if the scoreboard works. It's an NFC Championship rematch. Packers, Falcons, only on NBC. Brought to you locally on WBAL-TV by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, legendary safety and reliability. What drives you? Toyota, let's go places. The all-new 2018 Toyota Camry. The official car of the Baltimore Ravens. Toyota, let's go places. The lowest RV prices in the nation, right here in Maryland, at the huge RV Super Sale, this Thursday through Sunday at the Timonium Fairground. Free admission Thursday and Friday with military ID. Free parking. Check out TimoniumRV.com. Live, local, late breaking, this is WBAL TV 11 News Sunday morning. Hello and welcome to 11 News Sunday morning right now at 7. From St. Louis to Washington, D.C., thousands are taking to the streets in various protests. We're going to break it all down for you. Mm -hmm. Here in Baltimore, police arrest a man in the stabbing of a 76-year-old man. Details on what the suspect confessed to investigators. And London remains on critical alert this morning, even as British police now make a second arrest of the subway bombing. We'll get to all those stories and more in just a moment. But first, we're keeping an eye on Hurricane Jose. The meteorologist Taylor Grenda is tracking the storm for us. Good morning, Taylor. Good Good morning, and yeah, we haven't seen too, too uh, much of a difference in terms of strength of Jose overnight. However, biggest difference has been it has made that northerly shift. So that's what we have been waiting for for the past 24 hours. It's pretty much happened when we thought it was. So I do think this forecast track is pretty much on point and will be as we go throughout the next several days. So impacting parts of the mid-Atlantic into Monday and Tuesday. Meanwhile, we do have fog developing across Baltimore. So please take it easy if you are heading out the roadways early on on the Sunday morning. We have a gorgeous day ahead highs in the lower 80s warm and muggy but a gorgeous one ahead on outdoors i'll break down everything you need to know coming up in full weather in a few minutes all right, Taylor, thank you. Well, in cities across the country this weekend, Americans are taking to the streets in protest in St. Louis. It's over a police shooting. Yeah, in Richmond, Virginia, they're protesting over a Robert E. Lee statue. And in Washington, D.C., protest in support of President Trump and some controversy surrounding the group, the Insane Clown Posse. Here's 11 News reporter Chris Pallone. In St. Louis, protesters took to the streets for a second straight day. Outraged over a judge's ruling finding a white former police officer not guilty of killing a black man in 2011. Protesters Saturday took their message to a couple shopping malls, a food festival, and a popular entertainment district. The rock band U2 and the St. Louis Symphony canceled concerts over fears of keeping fans safe. Disappointing for all the folks who earn their living working at these concerts and at these events because they'll miss a paycheck because of this. That's because Friday night, things turned violent with 11 police officers hurt, several buildings vandalized, and 33 people arrested. We will continue to ensure our citizens' First Amendment rights are protected. However, we will not tolerate violence. In Richmond, Virginia, things remained peaceful as a group calling itself the New Confederate States of America marched in support of the city's Robert E. Lee statue. But instead of heated clashes, people on both sides engaged in mostly calm conversations about their differences. I've never met this man. We'd have to go all the way out. We just had, what, a 10-minute conversation. So I can understand where he was coming from. He can understand where I was coming from.
in Washington competing rallies on the National Mall. Supporters of President Trump held what they called the mother of all rallies. Organizers banned any ties to white supremacy or the alt-right. Speakers offered support for the president and his agenda as anti-Trump protesters looked on. President Trump was trying to make things work for everybody. Just a few yards away, fans of the hip-hop duo Insane Clown Posse, who call themselves Juggalos, protested the Justice Department labeling them a loosely organized hybrid gang. Chris Pallone, WBAL TV 11 News. Here in Baltimore City, police are investigating several shootings, one of them a homicide. Just after 5.30 yesterday evening, police learned that two men had checked themselves into a hospital with gunshot wounds, and one of them died shortly after arriving. Investigators say that victim was shot along the 2700 block of Borman Avenue in northwest Baltimore. In northeast Baltimore, an 18-year-old man was shot along the 4700 block of Shamrock Avenue. He's being treated at a hospital. Police are searching for suspects in both of the the shootings. And Baltimore City Police have also arrested the suspect they believe is responsible for a string of carjackings and they say in one case he stabbed a man. 29-year-old Robert Crenshaw is charged with attempted murder, carjackings and robberies. According to investigators, Crenshaw stabbed a 76-year-old man and stole his car Friday morning in the 1000 block of East Lombard Street. They say Crenshaw also confessed to carjacking other victims on Ann Street and South Chapel Street. A 69-year-old man is recovering this morning after he was attacked in Canton. Police say the victim here was waiting at a bus stop in the 3200 block of Eastern Avenue just before 4.30 yesterday morning when three juveniles walked up, attacked him, and then searched his pockets. A family member says that man lives in the neighborhood and often catches the bus to get to work. Anyone with information on this case has been asked to call investigators. Overseas now, new developments this morning in the London subway attack. British police say a second man has now been arrested in connection with the attack that injured 30 people. Still this morning, the country remains on a critical alert, meaning another attack is judged imminent. We get the latest now for NBC's Keir Simmons. Today, police raided a suburban house hours earlier, making what Scotland Yard called a significant arrest. After a massive manhunt to find those behind a homemade bomb that sent a fireball through a packed London subway car on Friday. The suspect, an 18-year-old man, detained in the departure area of the port of Dover, a key ferry terminal between Britain and France. He has not yet been charged. At this stage, we're keeping an open mind around whether more than one person is responsible for the attack. Detectives warning Londoners to expect more police activity in the days ahead. 30 people were injured on Friday, some with burns, others in the stampede to escape. There was a poor little boy who smacked his head into the concrete and I won't forget seeing that because he was in his school uniform, terrified. The explosive device included a bucket and a string of lights hidden in a supermarket bag. British security sources tell NBC News that while the detonator on the device fired, the main charge did not. If it had have exploded, many more people might have been maimed or even killed. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, but there's no evidence of their involvement. Britain facing a wave of terror attacks. This was the fifth since March. But the station where dozens were injured Friday reopened today with tightened security and defiant passengers. I think it's very important not to be put off, uh, upset or uh, phased by this type of activity. They can't kill all of us. They only kill a few and try to frighten everyone, and I refuse to be frightened. Britain's terror threat remains at critical, the highest level, and police releasing few details about the man they have arrested. Their priority, to prevent another attack. Keir Simmons, NBC News, London. U.S. Senator Chris Van Hollen spoke with Marylanders yesterday about the importance of providing health care to everyone, in his opinion. He hosted a health care forum at Perkins Baptist Church in Baltimore. He talked about what he says are challenges with the Affordable Care Act and how lawmakers should work to provide universal health care. Senator Van Hollen says the current health care system isn't perfect, but he believes repealing and replacing it would cause more harm than good. Thank people here for organizing to push back against the effort uh, to undo the Affordable Care Act, which uh, if they'd succeeded in blowing up the Affordable Care Act, uh, 23 million Americans would have lost access to affordable health care uh, and hundreds of thousands of uh, Marylanders. So uh, we wanted to say that fight is still not over. The University of Maryland Medical Center was also at that event. They provided some free health screenings.
A local foundation is celebrating the success of people who have overcome addiction. Yeah, in a really unique way, too. Hundreds of people gathered to create what they're calling a forest of hope at Oregon Ridge Park yesterday. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring was there. A park turned into an art studio, trees being used instead of canvas. It's the forest of hope. Hundreds of people painted 50 trees in Oregon Ridge Park. The art celebrates life after overcoming the disease of addiction. Their stories are being painted on their trees to share with the public that, hey, addiction is a disease, but it's not what you read about in the paper every day. People do recover if they access the right type of treatment and the right type of support. Artist Jay Wolf Schlossberg Cohen helped bring the stories to life. Small groups work together to paint the designs. Plaques at each tree tell the stories of recovery. The tree is a symbol of life. It is actually living. And in literature, it's a junction between heaven and earth. It is a symbol of resurrection, of rebirth, of hope. Nikki Perlow was 21 when she lost her battle with addiction. Her family honors her memory by helping young adults struggling with the disease. The Forest of Hope Project raised more than $75,000 to provide financial, emotional, and logistical support to young adults like Perlow. We wanted to do something different than a gala. We wanted to do something that, A, that the recovery community would own, meaning this is their project as much as it's the Nikki Perla Foundation project. And B, we wanted something that after the day of the event, it's something that's going to live on so we can share these stories for years to come. There will always be people that suffer from this disease, but just like this tree, this tree will be here, and those that are recovering from the disease of addiction will be here as well. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. Time now is 7.08 and still ahead this morning, after school snacks that your kids will go Must crazy. be broccoli we're talking about, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly, tons of it. Tons of broccoli, kids. <laughs> and then uh, you'll find out what you need to know about this year's flu vaccine for kids, uh, why it is recommended each year, and how effective is it actually? Plus, we have a nice end to the last weekend of summer. However, we are tracking some changes happening in Ocean City in the next several days. Here's a live look outside for you from the Ocean City Boardwalk, and things are quiet for now. Some changes heading into Monday and Tuesday. I'll break down the latest details coming up after the break. This portion of 11 News is brought to you by Walter Electric. Need an electrical repair or installation? Call Walter Electric, the area's electrical experts. It's the big screen store's two-for-one sale. Get a Samsung 4K 70-inch plus a 50-inch Samsung for just $17.99. That's right, a 70 and a 50-inch for just $17.99. Plus, get great deals on the latest in power reclining seating with power headrests. We double the length of your Samsung TV warranty free. Plus, they even beat Amazon's prices. The big screen store. Locations in Maryland and Virginia. Brick Bodies! Hi, I'm Vicki Brick. We built Brick Bodies on group exercise. And we continue to evolve so you can reach your goals. Join now through our Super September Open House on Tuesday, September 19th. For zero down and get one month free. Hope to see you in the club. At Len the Plumber, we know how dedicated you are to keeping your home running. It's that same dedication that drives us to be there when you need us most. You know the way to get a plumber today. Just call Len the Plumber. This is the J.D. Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! Is this required? Does she have to? She doesn't have to. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier because it's the only brand to earn J.D. Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow. It's really nice in here. Get 20% below MSRP on most 2017 Chevy Malibu models. That's over $5,300 on this Chevy Malibu. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Casement windows in Columbia, picture windows in Pikesville, bay windows in Baltimore, double hung windows in Davidsonville. Thompson Creek has installed all kinds of windows all over the area, all built just for your home right here at home. Five fifty-seven Creek. Now your 
WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grenda. Welcome back and happy last weekend to the summer. I know I can't believe it either and believe it or not, we're still kind of right in the peak of hurricane season. So that's why we have a lot of activity happening in the Atlantic Basin. Right now, main in, main concern for us is Hurricane Jose maintaining its strength overnight. Category one hurricane sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. The biggest difference overnight has been that it's made that northerly shift. That's what we have been waiting for and it's pretty much on track to follow this forecast track now that we have been mapping out the past several days. So we do anticipate this system to be nearly 200 miles off the mid-Atlantic coastline, impacting parts of possibly Ocean City and the Delaware beaches as early as Monday, lingering into Tuesday. And then that system shifts towards the north and starts to move closer towards North New England into Wednesday and then out to sea as early as Thursday. So having that said, we do now have a tropical storm watch out up for parts south of Fenwick Island. However, keep in mind, this is just engulfing area waterways just off the shoreline. So it's not that big of a concern. I think that uh, it's going to be kind of tough to even see any kind of tropical storm force winds from this, but nonetheless, National Weather Service has issued that. Meanwhile, here is a look at what to break down and to expect across Ocean City and the Delaware beaches as we go into Monday and Tuesday. That's when we'll see the biggest threat and the biggest changes. We're looking at those winds really starting to increase and we're going to kind of get them in gusts. And in golfs in the gusts, we'll see some periods of rain and also the surface going to continue to kick up out there. We're stalking as early as late tonight. We have that dangerous rip risk for rip currents continuing throughout Sunday, and I really do think that's going to linger even throughout much of this upcoming week. As far as today is concerned, though, things are going to be extremely quiet throughout the area. We're looking at high pressure in control of our weather across the mid-Atlantic, so pretty much a very similar weather pattern compared to what we saw yesterday. We're looking at mostly sunny skies throughout this morning. Slight chance for a pop-up shower here and there into this afternoon. We're talking anytime after 1.30 and 3 o'clock. That threat diminishes as early as 6 and 7, and then we dry out and completely clear out as we go into tonight. So if you have those outdoor plans, Again, it's only a slight chance for a passing shower. I think the main concern will actually be the temperatures where we're looking at 80s across the board for highs right now, starting off with 60s. If you have any kind of plans outdoors for the Ravens game, high temperatures will be approaching 80 to 85 degrees, so a little bit warm and also humid. Quick check on that seven day forecast into Monday and Tuesday. That's when we're tracking Jose nearest our coastline. Some impacts from that Wednesday into next weekend, though. Sunshine returns, dry conditions, highs in the low 80s. All right, Taylor, thank you. Well, as you know, Baltimore is celebrating the Ravens home opener in style. 98 Rock and former Ravens players hosted the Ravens reunion benefit happy hour. It was a cocktail dinner at Pier 5 Hotel in Baltimore last night. There was yummy food and fans even got a chance to chat with players from the 2000 Super Bowl winning team. Money raised will benefit programs that provide hands on education and job training. For disadvantaged children, a former Raven tells 11 News that he had a very rough upbringing, so he wanted to do his part to help kids. As a former player and as a guy who came from a low-income low housing and public housing raised on food stamps, you, all you got to do is go right down the street and see that Living Classrooms helps kids that were like me. So how could I live here, be here, and know my experience and not want to give back? That's the motivation that I have. The Ravens will take on the Cleveland Browns this afternoon. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock. Yes, it is. All right, well, the flu is coming, and already there is an outbreak in one state. I can't believe it's that time of year again. Up next are medical alert advice from a pediatrician about protecting your kids. Yeah, and plus some easy and healthy after-school snacks to keep the kids going until dinner. First, here is Jason Newton with a look at what's coming up later this morning on 11 TV Hill. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Deb and Adam. Coming up this morning on 11 TV Hill, devastating back-to-back -back blows to the U.S., the impact of Hurricanes Harvey and Irma, and the ongoing efforts to bring a sense of normalcy to the affected areas. And a brutal hurricane season so far. Meteorologist April Marie breaks down the significant features of the storms that we've had, plus a look ahead at what could be brewing. That's this morning at 1130. We'll see you then. Create your perfect space with patio enclosures. Right now, receive 50% off select sunroom products. Plus, enjoy no interest for two years. Call today. The one and only patio enclosures. News never stops. Take the story wherever you go. Stay in the loop with the WBAL TV 11 app. Watch live and recent newscasts whenever you want. We begin tonight with breaking news. Let breaking news come to you. 
with convenient push alerts. And when severe weather hits, don't be left in the dark. This storm is causing widespread power outages. Get live, local, late-breaking news anywhere, anytime. Download the WPAL TV 11 app. Don't miss Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies. The spellbinding sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. At the Hippodrome Theater, October 3rd through 8th. Tickets at BaltimoreHippodrome.com. Hey, Jim, give me an O. Larry, are you celebrating our baseball thing? No, I'm celebrating our 0% financing. What a deal. Yeah, but it's only available for a limited time. Save at Jim Boyd's Flooring America. To err is human. To anticipate is the Lexus RX. With pedestrian detection, auto braking, and lane departure alert, stand. Experience another step closer to a safer world. Lease the 2017 RX 350 all-wheel drive for $3.99 a month for 36 months. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Create your perfect space with patio enclosures. Right now, receive 50% off select sunroom products. Plus, enjoy no interest for two years. Call today. The one and only patio enclosures. In this morning's medical alert, the flu is already striking in some areas. Nearly 100 University of Southern Mississippi students have tested positive for the virus, and this has some doctors pushing for earlier vaccinations than in years past. Reporter Morgan Wagner has more for us. MEA Medical Clinic Dr. Joe Terry in Madison says his office wasn't planning on giving flu shots until October. But after seeing the large amount of USM students testing positive for the virus, he's urging everyone to get vaccinated sooner rather than later. A good percentage of cases, about one out of five, go into the chest. And, and you end up with a viral bronchitis or pneumonia. And that's why it's really bad on the little babies, the infants, and the old folks. The Mississippi Department of Health tells me while doctors are not required to report positive flu cases, the state has not seen a large increase of flu statewide. It's really hard to quantitate. It's always a guess. Uh, the best prevention is getting vaccinated. In the last two years, the flu vaccination nasal spray has been phased out due to its ineffectiveness. But Dr. Terry says their clinic does provide two types of shot. Your typical dose for anyone three years of age or older, then a high dose version for people 65 and over. Well, Dr. Ashanti Woods, pediatrician at Mercy Medical Center, joining us now. Let's talk a little bit more about this flu virus right now. It is coming earlier. Have we seen any cases yet around uh, your practice? Or? In uh, Baltimore, we don't have any cases that I know of mm -hmm. um, that could change today. Um, right. But in the nation, it is, in fact, coming earlier. So that's why it's a great time to get our flu shot. So you agree maybe starting the vaccinations a little earlier this year than we normally would? Absolutely. The flu... Uh, season is typically going to be October through May. Mm -hmm. Most of the cases are going to be December through March. Okay. But the way a vaccine works, it takes a little while to get in your system and get going. So now will be a perfect time to get vaccinated. Okay. So my son had his done just this week, actually. And for the first time ever, he's eight and he was terrified to get the shot. I couldn't believe it. I was like, come on, man, be tough. But I know that sometimes they do the mist. What's the difference between the mist and the and the actual needle? And <laughs> when is it? What's right for who? So what they have right now is the shot only. They did used to have the mist. And so some CDC data seems to suggest for the years 2013 through 2016, the miss was not as effective. Oh, really? So okay. right now it's actually just going to be the shot. Um, and children everywhere are hoping that this miss comes back. <laughs> but right now, just the shot. So what do you do? I'm just curious because I know a lot of kids are afraid to get shots. What do you do as a pediatrician? How do you calm them down? What do you say to the kids? Absolutely. Usually I'm, I'm a good dancer. So okay. usually I dance a little bit, get <laughs> right. them laughing. And then I have our medical assistant and nurse go ahead and give the shot. They teach you that at medical school, they right? They definitely teach you that. The good medical schools they do. Uh, it is a time of year now. Also, I guess if we have a minute here, I, you know, the kids go back to school and it seems like all of a sudden that just the germs are coming back into the life and everyone's sharing things. Uh, just some general health tips, I guess, as it's back to school time? Yep. Hand washing is going to be very, very important. Okay. Of course, our students don't always have access to the um, to water, so you just want to give them some of that hand Purell. Purell. And 
teaching them how to cough and sneeze is going to be very, very important. Coughing right into right there, your right? elbow like a dab. So. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's why they always say bring the Purell to the class That's and it. contribute to the classroom. That's right. All right, well, coming up next, uh, stay with us. Help the kids bridge the hunger hours before bed uh, dinner time with some healthy after-school snacks. We should talk to you about that, too. Uh, we're going to have that. But first, here's a look at some of the events that are happening around town this weekend. We will be right back. Latest news and weather. Download the new WBAL TV app today. Stay connected to stories impacting Maryland. Download the WBAL TV 11 news app. Casement windows in Columbia, bay windows in Baltimore, double hung windows in Davidsonville. Thompson Creek has installed all kinds of windows all over the area. Built just for your home right here at home. Oh, sweet home, sweet Creek. Call 855-57-CREEK. Experience the joys of authentic German tradition at Aberdeen Proving Ground's Centennial Year Oktoberfest from September 28th through the 30th. Enjoy live local music, German food, local craft beer, games, and fun for the whole family capped off with a firework finale on Saturday night. For tickets and more information, visit APGMWR.com September 28th through the 30th. The event is open to the public, rain or shine. Please drink responsibly. Paid for by IMWRF. Are you ready to update your bathroom? Transform from this to this in a week. Get 30% off during our biggest end of summer sale. Call Renvision to schedule a free in-home estimate with an experienced designer. Award-winning and highly acclaimed Renvision. Innovation in renovation. As Jose threatens the East Coast, turn to 11 News, the latest track of a storm, and pinpointing its exact location. On air and on the WBAL TV 11 mobile app. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Get 20% below MSRP on most Chevy Cruze models. That's over $4,800 on this Chevy Cruze. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Real people steal people. Professionals demand dependability on the job. Homeowners expect long-lasting value. And servicing steel dealers provide friendly, knowledgeable support. Right now, get the powerful BG56 CE handheld blower for $179.95. And for a limited time, get the powerful MS250 chainsaw for just $299.95. Get yours now, only at your local steel dealer. Visit steeldealers.com or search STIHL. Well, welcome back. We are now in the groove of the school year, and today we're going to talk about after-school snacks that will keep everyone satisfied. Emily Kraft, the in-store nutritionist for Giant, joins us. Nice to see you. Yes, it's great to be here. Well, we're impressed because this looks fun. It looks inviting. So walk yeah. us through what you've put Absolutely. out here today. That's the goal. And so when I'm talking to my customers at Giant, um, you know, one of the things that I hear all the time is that kids come home from school hungry. Oh, starving. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. we've got three tips to help them get satisfied, but sure. also, you know, be excited about their snacks. Absolutely. So the first tip I have is to pile on the protein. Mm -hmm. Protein gives us staying power. It makes us feel satisfied longer. So we've got some plant-based protein options here. This is a um, hummus fondue. Do. So you can just heat up hummus with uh, some broth, yeah, and it turns really? into fondue. So then you can pick some veggies, some bread to do some dipping. Like that's really broth fun snack. Or, yep, oh. whatever you prefer, whatever you even have at home, honestly. That's a great idea. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Yeah, then okay. we've got my favorite, our fruit donuts. So we just slice up our apples really quickly, and you can throw on peanut butter, you can throw on Greek yogurt. Give it some protein, but you're also getting that fruit. And um, I see you put a few little uh, sprinkles on it too. Yeah, it why not? Look a pretty, few, yeah. right? Of course. Very yeah, cute. I love absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, if you have kids who really like to kind of do their own thing with their snack, another thing you can do is just set up a buffet, like a trail mix buffet. Mm -hmm. And they can really kind of go for it, pick their favorite things, and, and have a satisfying snack with some protein from the nuts here. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Next, we've got make fruits and veggies fun, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to tell people we really want everyone to eat the rainbow, kids and adults alike. Yep. And kids need about five servings of fruits a day, fruits and veggies a day, I should okay. say. Okay, all right. And um, 
that's hard to do. So we've got to really get it in everything that we're feeding them. So we've got fruit pizzas, we've got quesadillas. This is an awesome smoothie bowl, um, which you can make out of fruit. Th that is right here. This is a smoothie yep. bowl? Yeah, so it's just a cantaloupe that's hollowed out. You throw some smoothie in there, whatever kids like, whatever the flavors wow. they like, and they can just kind of go at it. <laughs> so it, it just all looks very, it all looks fun. Yes, it right? is super fun, and it's fun to make, too. All right. And finally, we've got really powerful power it up with some nutrients. So fiber is another thing that keeps us full. And we can do that by throwing some black beans into brownies. We can do that by throwing some veggies into our tots. These are veggie tots. Uh -huh. I love them. They've okay. got servings of veggies in there. Yeah, and then and edamame course, is a great source. Sorry, veggie of, tots. <laughs> that's sorry. Okay. Edamame is a great source of potassium, too. So that's a good thing that we want kids to have. I'm not putting the veggie tots. Thank you oh, very much. You did a yeah. wonderful job. This looks fantastic. And yeah, come into Giant to get some more inspiration. Be creative. Thank yes. you, Emily. All right, thanks for joining us. And the time now is 727, and stay with us. Coming up, we'll take a look at our top stories. Plus, we have a warm and humid day ahead. Uh, it's going to feel definitely like summertime. We'll break down hour by hour exactly what to expect. Also, a few showers around possibly into this afternoon. Another live look outside from the Ocean City Boardwalk where things look nice and calm for now, but conditions are going to change a little bit into Monday and Tuesday. I'll break down the latest details coming up here after the break. Let BGE Home help you save energy and keep your family warm this winter with blown-in attic insulation. Now through October 15th, save 25%. Call 888-BGE-HOME today. We've never had more. Gadgets, gizmos, more stuff than we know what to do with. But happiness doesn't come from earning more or owning more. It comes from spending time with people you love, connecting with community, moving your body and staying healthy. Do you have time for that? You do if you do them all in one place. The Y, a million different ways to make everyone happy for one low price. Pay no joining fee through the 20th. Sign up online at joinymaryland.org. At Len the Plumber, we know how dedicated you are to what's important. It's that same dedication that drives us to keep your home running without skipping a beat. Dedicated to being there when you need us most. We're here for you seven days a week. the big screen stores two for one sale get a samsung 4k 70 inch plus a 50 inch samsung for just 17.99 that's right a 70 and a 50 inch for just 17.99 plus get great deals on the latest in power reclining seating with power headrests we double the length of your samsung tv warranty three plus they even beat amazon's prices the big screen store locations in maryland and virginia over the last 10 years, BGE Home has sold over 30,000 windows, making thousands of families more comfortable. Now, save 30% on each new window. Call 888-BGE-HOME. Live, local, late-breaking, this is WBAL-TV 11 News Sunday Morning. And welcome back to 11 News Sunday Morning. I'm Deborah Wiener. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm Adam May. Jennifer has the day off. I think you're watching now from home, though, this morning. Good morning, Jennifer. Wake we're, up! <laughs> it is, uh, we're going to get to our top stories in just a moment. But first, got to take a look outside with Taylor. Taylor, this is the last weekend of summer, and it's really going to feel like it, no, isn't it? No, it definitely it? is. And I mean, if it, it was if it was up to me, it'd be like this every single day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Bring us some South Florida weather. But yes, this weekend is going to be a nice one. If you do enjoy the summer-like weather, it's going to be in place throughout today. Here's a Look, though, at Hurricane Jose, latest advisory coming in, keeping this a Category 1 hurricane and anticipated to be a couple hundred miles off our coastline come Monday into Tuesday. So most of us won't see too, too much of an impact. However, Ocean City, Delaware beaches, you will be impacted by this come Monday and Tuesday. Meanwhile, for today, a great one to head on outdoors. Highs, lower 80s. It's certainly going to be human out there as well. So you need to really try your best to stay hydrated today. I'll break down the rest of your seven-day forecast here in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Taylor. Hurricane Jose coming and people along the northeastern shore. They're getting ready. Residents of Connecticut shoreline are keeping a very close eye on the path of the storm. Marinas are already warning people to take precautions. 
before it's too late. Meanwhile, in the Florida Keys, residents began to return this weekend for the first time since Hurricane Irma swept through and caused widespread damage. NBC's Lucy Kavanaugh spoke with some of them going home. Nearly a week after the storm, this is what Irma left behind in the Florida Keys. Devastation, trees toppled, boats overturned, and hundreds of homes gone. In Marathon, residents returned home for the first time. What do you guys need to do to recover from this? We don't know yet. Ivan Dibbles lost his mother in the storm. He spoke to her on Sunday, hours before the hurricane hit. I didn't regret it, but I didn't try to put a hair out of here. <sighs> Please know I don't have a mother. Ivan and his mother, 61-year-old Marcy Rodriguez, lived together in their mobile home, where Marcy chose to ride out the storm with their pets. There was no convincing her to leave? No. No. Ivan still searching for his pets. I lost my mom. I don't want to lose any more animals. But in this close-knit community, no shortage of love. Thank you. Thank you. Families across the Keys are returning to rebuild their lives, including Rosie Herrera and her loved ones. People are already picking up. They want to get everything back to normalcy, you know? So we're all pitching in and working hard. That was Lucy Cavanaugh reporting. People displaced by Hurricane Harvey in Port Arthur, Texas, are being moved now into tents. Emergency officials have put up some 250 tents in a parking lot there. Each one can hold up to 14 people. Officials say men and women are being put in different tents and families are staying together in other tents. City officials say they also plan to set up one big tent that can hold 250 people and put barriers inside to separate the men and the women. Finally finding a balance after a couple of weeks, and we're happy that uh, com people are being safe and feel comfortable here. The mayor says the tents are temporary shelters where people can stay for about 30 days, but he says that could be extended. FEMA and county officials are working on a longer-term housing solution. All right, let's take a look at some of the other top stories we're following this morning here locally. Baltimore City Police have made an arrest in a string of carjackings. 29-year-old Robert Crenshaw has been charged with attempted murder, carjackings, and robberies. Investigators say Crenshaw stabbed a 76-year-old man and stole his car Friday morning in the 1000 block of East Lombard Street, just outside a Little Italy area. They say Crenshaw also confessed to carjacking another victim on Ann Street and another one on South Chapel Street. In Baltimore County, police are investigating a crash that killed a man walking in Towson. Investigators say a car traveling on Charles Street hit a 65-year-old man Friday and he died at the hospital. Police are still looking into the crash. So far, no charges have been filed. And a 69-year-old man is recovering this morning after he was attacked in Canton. Police say the victim was waiting at a bus stop in the 3200 block of Eastern Avenue just before 4.30 yesterday morning. That's when three juveniles walked up, attacked him, and then searched his pockets. Police are asking anyone who could help with the investigation to give them a call. Time now for a look at what's coming up on Meet the Press. Chuck Todd joins us live from Washington, D.C. with a preview. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Deborah. So I have to ask you, President Trump, of course, pleased moderates and stunned a lot of people by attempting to strike a possible deal on DACA with the Democrats. Where does this go from here, and do you expect a backlash from his base? Look, I think some, some of this depends on what was the, what is the real motivation for why the president did this. Was this about him trying to strike the fastest deal on DACA? He's worried about public opinion backlash from the middle. He knows that there's actually majorities in Congress, both on the Republican side and Democratic side, who essentially want to do something to protect these folks that would codify the executive order. Is this just a way to streamline that, or did he use this moment to punish Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell to say, hey, I'm going to decide what topics we deal with first um, and what order we deal with them first, not you, uh, as a part of the frustration of the first nine months. So it depends on really what, the, what his supporters see as the motivation. I think his supporters will be fine if he cuts a deal on DACA, if he's still finding a way to use leverage for the wall and for some other things. I think what concerns some of his supporters is it looks like he's giving away his leverage uh, completely. So let's see what this looks like in a, in a couple months, but I think what it means policy-wise is there's going to be a deal on DACA. These folks are going to get legally protected. I want to ask you also, you traveled to the U.S. Virgin Islands this week with former New York City Mayor Michael mm -hmm. Bloomberg to see the damage after Irma. Tell me what you saw on the ground and how long do you think this is going to take to get them, to get them back to where they need to be? 
Well, if you want to know what, what does it look like after a Category 5 hurricane mm. hits, Hurricane Irma thankfully weakened by the time it hit the Florida Peninsula. But when it hit St. John and St. Thomas, mm. the two of the uh, three American Virgin Islands, it was a 5. Uh, somebody down there told me they had a gust. They measured a gust of 221 miles an hour, just an unfathomable wind speed. Nothing was left untouched uh, structurally uh, on St. John. Uh, it seems like as if all but a handful of light poles have been sort of split in half like toothpicks. And, and look, part of this is, I think, to bring a little more attention, you know, they logistically, it always takes longer mm -hmm. to help the islands recover just to get uh, if money is usually less the issue, it's more physical resources, getting getting the power guys down there to help put up power lines, getting construction workers to go down, putting the debris on barges. You can't just truck it away. You got to mm -hmm. put it on barges and float it away. So I think all of this is there's been a concern. I went down there with uh, former New York City Michael Bloomberg. He was sounding the alarm because his fear is that the, the U.S. Virgin Islands will get lost yeah. uh, in the Texas and Florida recovery efforts. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we appreciate your perspective on that. It's like a paradise lost down there. So uh, we, we wish sure the best is. for the folks there. Thank you so much, Chuck. Okay, Deborah. All right, and don't forget, of course, you can watch Meet the Press later this morning at 10 right here on WBAL-TV. Then stay tuned for Matter of Fact with Soledad O'Brien at 11 a.m., followed by 11 TV Hill with Jason Newton. I went on my uh, honeymoon to St. John right. uh, a long time ago, but uh, it's just such a beautiful place. It's really it's and, really a shame. And one of the tough parts about that, too, is they don't have all the political power Absolutely. that they have being just a territory, right? right. And that's a discussion that... I'd like to see at least come up in all of this. Uh, I'm sure it will, too. Yeah, right, well, um, still ahead on 11 News, Barks joins us uh, with a look at a pet that needs a new home. Yeah, and then celebrate the golden age of movie going with Baltimore photographer and author Amy Davis. She'll join us with more on her new and beautiful book. And maybe you have tailgating plans taking them outdoors today for the Ravens game. Well, you're in luck. It's going to be a great day for that. I'll break down your latest forecast and an update on Jose and the rest of the tropics coming up here in a few minutes. quarterback is unbelievable. There's not much that compares to it, but being a dad takes the cake. They're balls of energy. I don't think it's going to get any more calm around here. It's going to be busy, busy, busy. Being with M&T really helps because the less time you spend banking, the more time I can spend with my kids. That's really what's important. The fact that M&T is, is willing to cater to young families who are on the move a lot uh, just makes it so much easier for everybody. I'm all about being a dad. It's the coolest job in the world. Now at Thompson Creek, if you buy one window, you get one for 50% off, plus no money down and no interest until 2019. The big September sale from your resident experts. Five fifty seven Creek. This is the JD Power Award for dependability. I want you to give it to the friend that is most dependable. Oh! Is this required? Does she have to? She doesn't have to. <laughs> Tough choice, isn't it? Yes. Well, luckily, Chevy makes it a little easier because it's the only brand to earn JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Wow, it's really nice in here. Get 20% below MSRP on most 2017 Chevy Malibu models. That's over $5,300 on this Chevy Malibu. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Big sale today. You snooze, you lose. The Dakota Double. Double trouble. Just like you guys. <laughs> when we saw that the mattress industry was broken, we didn't rest until we'd fixed it. No middlemen, no gimmicks, no nonsense. Because you shouldn't lose sleep over your sleep. We're Tuft and Needle. Learn the truth at TN.com. Oh, I have one of these at home. In my attic. This week on Matter of Fact. We'll go inside the minds of Americans. Is there something in our DNA that lets us believe alternative facts or fake news? Matter of Fact, this morning at 11 on WBAL-TV 11. Now, your WBAL-TV 11 weather forecast with meteorologist Taylor Grinda. 
Happy Sunday, everyone. I do want to bring you the latest update on Hurricane Jose this morning. Coming out of the National Hurricane Center, keeping the system uh, maintaining its strength overnight. Still a Category 1 hurricane, sustained winds of 80 miles per hour. However, overnight, the latest developments have been that it's made that northerly turn. So this forecast track is pretty much shaping up to be what we had planned it to be. So we do anticipate Jose to be uh, nearly 200 miles off our coastline come Monday into Tuesday. So I think any kind of impacts we will see will be mainly felt across the coastline. We're talking Delaware beaches, uh, Lewis down at Rehoboth, also Bethany, and also we're talking about parts of Ocean City too. Then as we go into Wednesday, that system tracks closer to toward New England and then out to sea as early as Thursday. So having that said, we do have a tropical storm watch newly issued for parts anywhere south of Fenwick Island. But keep in mind, this is just the area waters off the coastline that are engulfed in this watch. Again, we could see a gust, a few gusts that uh, exceed the tropical storm force wind threshold, but I do think that this is really going to be a low chance of this happening. So breaking down the impacts for you, Ocean City Monday and Tuesday, we're looking at that wind being the biggest threat engulfed in the wind. We could see some periods of blowing rain. In addition to this, we'll see the, the surf start to kick up as early as today and also that rip current threat significantly increases today and really will linger until the system is well far away from us. So I don't think the rip current threat is going to uh, at least decrease until we get into late next week. Meanwhile, for today, we have high pressure still in control of our weather, so it's going to be another great one to head on outdoors. Any kind of plans you have, a lot going on today, get out and enjoy it. Here we go. Through at least noon and 1 o'clock, things are quiet with sunshine in place. After 1, once again, is similar to yesterday. I think we'll start to see some clouds build and a few pop-up showers possible. Again, only a 20% chance of this happening. Just keep your eye in the sky just in case. And then into tonight, that shower threat really does diminish and we're looking at clear skies to partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours and then into uh, Monday. Things will be quiet for the morning. Temperatures right now coming in in the 60s and low 70s across the board for Baltimore at 72 degrees. And then here we go. High temperatures today, I think, will reach into the lower range of the 80s. So it's going to be a nice, warm, kind of muggy day ahead. So again, if you have those outdoor plans, really try your best to probably stay in the shade, slab on the sunscreen, and just keep an extra water bottle in, in your hand just in case. Here's a check on that seven-day forecast. Gorgeous today. Monday and Tuesday is when we'll see some impacts from Hurricane Jose, and then that's out of here Wednesday into the upcoming weekend. Gorgeous sunny weather, dry conditions, and highs in the lower 80s. Beautiful forecast, Taylor. Thanks so much. Joining us now from Barks for a look at a pet that needs a home. Bailey Deacon is with us from Barks. Hey. Hi, how are this you? This is Melvin. This and, is Melvin. Oh, good. He's finally looking at the camera yes. because for the last three minutes, Melvin has been staring at the pictures <laughs> of the dogs back here trying to make some new friends. He is so sweet. He's so cute. He came into Barks as a stray, so we think mm -hmm. he's about two years old, but my favorite thing about him is that he acts like an old man. He does. He is <laughs> he's totally so chill. So cute. Totally chill. Mm -hmm. Um... And, and just such a good boy. Um, just on the way over here, he's a huge baby. I had uh -huh. to lift him into my car. I had to lift him <laughs> out of my car. And he was all about it. Like, he was ready. Like, yeah. he knew. Like, well, I can't make that jump, so you're going right. to have to lift me. And he's me. got tiger stripes. Uh, yes, too, he's got this really brindle neat. coloring, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And he's going tailgating today. That's right. So it's the first home game. And what we do at Barks is we take our adoptable dogs out into the tailgate. Right. Um, so many people actually wind up adopting them and then we collect donations. It's absolutely wonderful. So we're super excited. That's really <laughs> great too. And plus what a great chance for the dogs to just get out absolutely. and mingle with people. It's so much fun. You know, it's right we're right there by MT Bank Stadium. Mm -hmm. So being part of that tailgate and having that opportunity to show off our dogs is really great. Hey, look at the dog. He's like totally <laughs> looking at the camera. He's gonna be dog who's, news who's anchor. That? Who's that puppy on <laughs> is the that camera? New? <laughs> He's so cute. You're good, buddy. Uh, you guys, this is a big month for you guys, too. Really quick, tell me about what's coming up in October. So, coming up in October is Barks Toberfest, yeah. which is our biggest fundraising event of the year. We are counting on it to raise a quarter million dollars for our shelter. Okay. It helps us save thousands of lives. Right. So, anyone who's interested in it, big festival, but starting <laughs> now with the fundraising, BarksToberfest.org. All right. And Melvin, you are a ham. I yeah, wish Melvin could throw it to break if he could speak. <laughs> he's, he's already got that look down right at the camera. All right. If you want to help Barks, you can give them a call. Their number is on your screen. There it is, 410-396-4695. And again, uh, you can also go to BaltimoreAnimalShelter.org for information on Melvin and all the pets and all the events and all that good stuff. Thanks for coming in, Thank Melvin. You. Thanks. <laughs> I think he's going to hang out with us for a while. We have more 11 News coming up next. Stay with us. But first, uh, here is a look at last night's winning lottery numbers. Good luck, everyone.
Is everything in place for version two? We're keeping everything from version one, and adding a bunch of new stuff that they'll hate. Beast, beast, beast! The Good Place, special premiere Wednesday, 10, 9 central on NBC. The comedy legends are back. It'll be different this time. Will it? Yes! Because all the other times we've done this, we thought it would be different, but this time we know it's gonna be exactly the same. <laughs> the return of Will and Grace, September 28th on NBC. When the Falcons open their new stadium, their first guest is Aaron Rodgers. So we'll see if the scoreboard works. It's an NFC Championship rematch. Packers, Falcons, only on NBC. Brought to you locally on WBAL-TV by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, legendary safety and reliability. What drives you? Toyota, let's go places. The all-new 2018 Toyota Camry. The official car of the Baltimore Ravens. Toyota, let's go places. With Next Day Floors, getting new hardwood floors for your home is as easy as one, two, three. First, visit one of our six Baltimore area stores or call us and we'll come to you. Next, choose from hundreds of flooring options, including hardwood, laminate, or luxury vinyl tile. And finally, with 24 month, 0% financing and everyday low prices, you'll have your new floors in no time. Here comes the jingle. Next Day Floors, we come to you. Call 800-916-6112. Now at Thompson Creek, if you buy one window, you get one for 50% off, plus no money down and no interest until 2019. The big September sale from your resident experts. Call 855-57-CREEK. Welcome back. Many of the reporters who have been covering Baltimore for some time, including myself, have long admired the work of photojournalist Amy Davis from the Baltimore Sun. She has a new and really gorgeous book out called Flickering Treasures, recalling the opulent movie palaces that used to be such a rich part of our urban culture. Well, this is stunning. Nice to see you, Amy. It's good to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I have always loved your work. And this is such an interesting, there's something sort of mournful about this. Um, tell me how you came up with this idea. I'm a Assuming it came from just being out in the city and seeing these, uh, you know, um, relics essentially, and some of them not in very good shape. Well, actually, most of them are not even recognizable yeah. as theaters yeah. anymore. So I was inspired by my local theater, which was the Senator. Mm, of course. Baltimore, uh, Baltimore's last single screen theater, as it was known. And when the Senator was uh, possibly going to be closed down, I thought, my neighborhood theater, what's right. going to happen right. to it? And then I thought a little further and realized the same thing that happened to everybody else's neighborhood theater. Right. And that got me curious. What exactly did become of all these other theaters? I didn't really realize how many there were. The book, Flickering Treasures, celebrates 72 theaters. But Baltimore, since the start of the movie-going era, the turn of the last century, has had more than 243 theaters. Not all at once, but over those 100-plus years. And we're looking at some of the pictures right now. Th is this, this is not the Hippodrome. This is, no, the picture on the cover is of the Parkway. Right, right. The, the book launch for the book will be at the Parkway next Tuesday night at 7. And the Parkway is a wonderful theater to celebrate because it was closed for almost 40 years. It's a 1915 theater and it's beautiful inside. Tell me what we're looking at right here on the screen. This is such a great picture and I think what's so interesting about the pictures you take is you have the you have the images of yesterday but you very much have the images of today. Tell me about this. It's really important to me to get not just the buildings but the people. Yeah. These theaters, um, particularly the neighborhood theaters that are profiled in the book, um, were vibrant neighborhoods, anchors in their little communities, and now many of them are desolate and uh, forgotten. And in this case, the Royal Theater has been torn down, 
and that was the heart of the African American community on Pennsylvania Avenue. So I was photographing what remains, the football field, mm -hmm. this little monument with the teeny marquee, and these boys happened along going to football practice. And so I asked if they would pose for my picture. Uh, so I wanted to show what's there now and then suggest and remember what was once there. Well, and the pictures are stunning, but you also get a sense that we really lost an opportunity culturally uh, to preserve this history. I mean, I, I love the images of um, the, the past and the present coming together, but I, I do feel like it was such a lost opportunity in Baltimore to protect this. Well, there's clearly a mournful element in the book when you look at the old pictures with their glowing neon yeah. and uh, um, liveliness, and you look at some of the scenes today, these were bustling commercial thoroughfares, streetcar lines, and now some of them are really uh, quiet, desolate, underutilized, bail bondsmen, right. uh, liquor stores, yeah. and, and the like. Um, and so uh, it is a loss when you see what was, but I would like people to think about what could be. I love it. I love yeah. it. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you as always. And again, the name of the book is Flickering Treasures, Rediscovering Baltimore's Forgotten Movie Theaters by Amy Davis. Nice to see you. Good luck with your book. Thanks. I'll also be at the book festival on Saturday. Wonderful. I hope you do well. Thank you so much. The Thank time you. now is 7.51 and coming up, we're in the 11 News Kitchen for Sunday brunch. Plus, Taylor has another look at the forecast. Stay with us. You're watching 11 News Sunday morning. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call Low Cost Airlines. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last minute travel deals too. Each part of your day has a different feel. And moves at a different speed with its own special quality of light. by the quality of Next Day Blinds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Chevy Cruze and Malibu are making quite an impression. Wi-Fi in a car. I like that it has a camera. I can see where I'm backing up. It's no wonder that Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing retail brand in 2016. I think I'll be trading in my car now. Get 20% below MSRP on most Chevy Cruze models. That's over $4,800 on this Chevy Cruze. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. Ellen's crushing j show in Vegas. These rip-away clothes, though, it's sexy. <laughs> All new Ellen. Tomorrow at 4 on TV 11. Don't miss Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies. The spellbinding sequel to The Phantom of the Opera. At the Hippodrome Theater, October 3rd through 8th. Tickets at BaltimoreHippodrome.com. trusted for more than 75 years, you have the compassion and strength of a name, giving you the power to keep pace. Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. Live fearless. Are you ready to update your bathroom? Transform from this to this in a week. Get 30% off during our biggest end of summer sale. Call RenVision to schedule a free in-home estimate with an experienced designer. Award-winning and highly acclaimed RenVision. Innovation in renovation. Wow, if you could only smell it right now on the Sunday brunch section of 11 News Sunday morning. Uh, chef uh, Leland Abellino joining us now from uh, Dinosaur Barbecue. Executive Chef, good morning. How are you? Thanks for wow, having me. Wow, this is like a mountain of meat. This is almost like this could put you in a meat coma. A lot of good stuff it. here. <laughs> we started smoking this stuff last night about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, it's been low and slow all, uh, all night. And is that what you guys do at the restaurant? How long do you smoke these meats? So uh, we smoke this particular, this pork butt and this brisket for about 12 
12 to 14 hours, to really depending on the size wow. of meat. There's no real mass assumptions. We cook it as long as it needs to be cooked. Can you imagine bringing this to your tailgate? <sighs> you would be the most popular guy on the block well, if you brought one of these. Well, our catering office is open, <laughs> and they can, uh, we're ready for every uh, every game day here in Baltimore. Okay, so you've got this brisket here. I got a Absolutely. couple of questions, actually. I know you've got things I'm that you want to say. I'm going to get slicing, and uh, you lob me the questions as right. you go. Okay, how do you slice brisket the right way? Because there is a trick to it. Not everybody knows this, There right? really is a trick, and I'm going to show you how we slice our brisket. Okay, please do. So, you know, we have up here, we have a plate, which is more lean. And okay. And up here is a deckle, which has a little more fat. And the deckle? A little deco? more luscious. Deckle. Oh, right. This is where, this is what we're going to eat out of this okay. morning. <laughs> so we'll cut this guy in half. That's Deb's half. You open it up, you can see this, see this wonderful Whoa. juice is happening here. Look at that. Yeah, it's really cool. So then we're here, what we'll do is, I'll grab you a burn in. Because okay. Because this is really where the, where the magic's at. Okay. And then, uh. That's the magic. Give that a shot. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Here. Oh my gosh. Isn't that great? Wow. Absolutely. So this wow. brisket, slice it in half. We mm. take our slices right out of here. Really nice pieces. Yeah, losing the suit coat this morning on this one. Absolutely. Don't, it's brisket, my gosh. Is that loveliness right there? That was really great. Also, we have some St. Louis ribs. Okay. So we'll get. When you go to the store mm -hmm. and they've got all these different kinds of ribs, which one do you prefer to buy personally as a chef? As a chef, personally, mm -hmm. I want St. Louis, which are exactly what these guys are. They're okay. meaty, right. nice juice to them. And these are smoked as Get well? Yeah, smoked. These are about five hours. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 How are you? a lot more with the chef coming up. Um, mm. This for you. Thank the you. Next hour of 11 News Sunday morning. Oh, Thank you. For you. This is oh, very... Uh, barbecue. It's very meaty. It's mm -hmm. really, really good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We are running a little bit low on time. Mm -hmm. If you want a copy, That's 1401 delicious. Fleet Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have our two-year anniversary coming up on the 22nd. So two we'll years in Baltimore two now. Two years in Baltimore. Time flies. We're so happy to be here. When you're having fun and eating well. Absolutely. So uh, you can go to the WBAL TV mobile app for more information on Dinosaur Barbecue down in Fells. My first time having it. It's delicious. Oh, my gosh. And awesome. it's really close to your house. You probably smell it all the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One last check on that seven-day. Great tailgating weather today. Monday and Tuesday, though, it's going to get a little bit uh, kind of cloudy and some showers passing through. We're watching Jose, of course, and we'll have the latest update coming up. All, all right. right. That's all our time for now. Today's show's next. We will have an update at 825, and we'll be back with more news and weather coming up at 9 o'clock and another visit with Dinosaur Barbecue. Have a great day. news breaks. We have breaking news tonight when storms are about to strike. Hear about it first with push alerts sent straight to your smartphone or tablet. Download the WBAL TV 11 News app. Search WBAL in the App Store. Sinai Hospital is 150 years of excellence, blending advanced academic medicine with community service. Sinai is the state's most comprehensive brain and spine institute. Sinai is number one in Maryland for performing the most complex orthopedic surgeries. Sinai is performing innovative procedures that prepare heart valves through tiny catheters. Sinai is an immunotherapy program helping patients fight cancer from the inside out. Sinai Hospital is LifeBridge Health. To find a Sinai doctor, call 410-601-WELL. Real people steal people. Professionals demand dependability on the job. Homeowners expect long-lasting value. And servicing steel dealers provide friendly, knowledgeable support. Right now, pick your power, fuel, or battery, and get a great value on a steel blower. Starting at just $129.95. Get yours now, only at your local steel dealer. Visit steeldealers.com or search STIHL. It's the big screen store's two-for-one sale. Get a Samsung 4K 70-inch plus a 50-inch Samsung for just $17.99. That's right, a 70 and a 50-inch for just $17.99. Plus, get great deals on the latest in power reclining seating with power headrests. We double the length of your Samsung TV warranty free. Plus, they even beat Amazon's prices. The big screen store. Locations in Maryland and Virginia. All your troubles goodbye Kiss all your troubles goodbye It's just a mess. It's just one big mess. If we can do things in a bipartisan
Anderson matter, that'll be great. I think the evidence shows I would have won. They were just trapped, and I thought, I'm going to die. The future of the smart stuff. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday today. On this September 17th, I'm Willie Geist. Another busy Sunday morning at the end of a busy week as President Trump pursues his agenda with the help of Democrats. We'll talk to Chuck Todd and Kristen Welker in a moment about whether or not we'll see more after that burst of bipartisanship. And overnight, there were violent protests in St. Louis following the acquittal of a white former police officer in the fatal shooting of an African-American suspect. We'll go there live. And later, a Sunday sit-down with the star and executive producer of the most talked-about show on TV. Former Mad Men favorite Elizabeth Moss, nominated tonight for a Best Actress Emmy, takes us inside the dark world of The Handmaid's Tale. You try to make a, uh, an entertaining television show, you know, and sometimes that's all it is. But when you can do something that you also feel passionately about and also hits upon things that feel very personal to you, it's that much more gratifying. A Sunday sit-down with Elizabeth Moss plus Harry Smith a bit later in the show. But let's begin this morning with a second night of protest in St. Louis turning ugly once again. NBC's Blake McCoy is there for us. Blake, good morning. Willie, good morning to you. You can see windows boarded up here after being smashed in overnight. Protesters never announced they were coming to this neighborhood about 20 minutes outside of downtown St. Louis, keeping their movements unpredictable and leaving these business owners unprepared. A second night of protests turned violent, leading to smashed windows and damaged storefronts. That's sort of heartbreaking. My wife runs the cafe and she works hard and she works hard to make this a place that feels like a part of the community and so this, it hurts. People obviously are, should be able to protest, and, but it, this is not the productive side of that. Protesters filled the streets of University City, a suburb of St. Louis popular for its restaurants, shops, and bars. It is our duty to win. What started as a peaceful demonstration earlier in the day <laughs> turned ugly as night fell with a handful of protesters clashing with police. Nine of them left in handcuffs. Protesters still angry over the decision to acquit white police officer Jason Stockley in the 2011 shooting death of Anthony Lamar Smith after a high-speed chase. Stockley defended his actions after the verdict. I did not murder Anthony Lamar Smith. You too. 